VLS power plant under the Camaro under the hood or lack of a hood. Already rolled in, lights the top bob, waiting for the Vega. Vega rolls in and bumps both of them. We're all in. Bang, there's the light. Wheels up for the Vega out by about a car. But here comes the Camaro. It's a drag race, boys and girls, but the Vega gets there first. first. Jody Carney goes 1073 at 124 left lane, 1082 at 125. Wade Sunderland out of Santana, Kansas, 1971 GMC in the left lane, 454 cubic inches, a big block Chevrolet taking on Seth Pennington out of Augusta, Kansas. The 2012 Cadillac CTSV LSA under the hood of that hot rod. The blown LS taking on the big block Chevrolet. These pick em up trucks with that trailer arm suspension, they they work pretty good. Cadillac over there in the right lane. Got the independent rear suspension under the under the back of that deal. That's what that looks like, boys and girls. Seth Pennington going to get to the eighth mile first. Goes seven oh. Oh, at 105 and out the back door, 1073 at 124. The pick em up truck, 1496 at 89 miles an hour, and that's about what my Mustang ran. Jonathan Stone Cypher, Uncle Stoney in the left lane out of Kansas, Oklahoma, the 72 Chevy Nova, 4.8 liters of LS power. And I've been around this car for about 15, 17 years. Wheels up. Taking on the 46 Chevy pick-em-up truck out of Council Grove, Kansas. 
Doug Jensen in the right lane. And the Nova stops the clocks 1060 at 122 miles an hour to the eighth mile. He goes 669 at 102. Right lane goes 1377 at 72 miles an hour. And the prospect are back for another lap. Bob Larson in the left lane out of Rossville, Kansas, the 1938 Dodge Coupe, 440 cubic inches under the hood. Taking on another Mopar in the right lane. Michael Turner out of Dexter, Michigan. Wheels up for the gasser. Papa Wheelie showed up. Getting on down through there. Goes 732 to the eighth. Out the back door, 1144 to 113. Right lane, Michael Turner stops the clocks. 1253 at 106. Another neat little hot rod. Robert Miller out of Rock Bell, Colorado. Making the long haul. Getting him some better air over here at Mocan Dragway. The 1947 Chevy Fleet Line with the chop top. 383 cubic inches of Chevrolet. I'm assuming small block under the hood. Josh Anderson in the 77 Nova. 388 cubic inches. That car runs like a snotty nose. Kind of an unsuspecting little hot rod. The dog dish hubcaps. Goes 169 to the 60 foot. End of the eighth. Goes 746 at 92. Out the back door, 1175 at 114. Left lane, 1327, 100 miles an hour for the hot rod. Here in Nebraskans, Billy Marshall in the right lane out of Sutton, Nebraska. The 2023 Corvette, 6.2 liters under the mid-engine unit there. And Jared Aspergen, Bergren out of Sutton, Nebraska. The 2010 Camaro. And he had a decent pass on his first lick. Back for number two here. Three bulbs lit, waiting on the Corvette. They're all in. On the chip, lets her rip, smokes the tires. And the Corvette right there with you, door handle to door handle. Or, uh, Camaro gets her gathered up and out the back door, 1043 with a 9 at 141. Right lane, 1110 at 117. Tyler Jansen, Jensen in the left lane. Shanda Daughtry in the right lane out of Eureka, Missouri. It'd be cool if, if the prospector was out of Eureka. It, it would be apropos anyway, as Craig says. Yeah, what what does it mean? What is it? I, I, I just use it because he's smarter than me. Or he sounds smarter. So I'll take it. We're going to back the Mopar in the right lane up. Roll through the beams. Got them all in now. Tyler stays just to build a little bit more boost. And Shanda says, uh, got you covered, bud. She goes through the traps, 1255 at 110 miles an hour. Left lane, 1260 at 78. Here comes the wagon back again. Zach Rudy out of Giltner, Nebraska. The 73 Torino wagon, 521 cubic inches. Taking on the El Camino. William, Blom, William Blomberg. Versailles. I was going to say Versailles, but Versailles. That's kind of like when you're going through uh, Clarksville over there in uh, Arkansas. Yeah, they, they sometimes the language uh, is a barrier. So, uh, courtesy stage, and not exactly happening there. The wagon rolls in, lights too. And the El Camino going to show them the way. Not a bad pass for the Elko. 1174, 114 miles an hour, left lane, 90, uh, 1361 to 99 miles an hour. And Patrick Melson, I can remember all the way back when he had the, the little. Uh, Volkswagen with the 
it was kind of Volkswagen. Had a Ford engine. He had all kinds of different power plants in that deal. This car he has owned since high school, making the trip from Claremore, Oklahoma, in the 55 Chevy Bel Air. And it is it is the typical 55. The right colors, anyway. Left lane. Cassie Farrell goes red. Patrick ripping and gripping. Going to get there first. Goes 942 at 155 miles an hour. 1189 at 113 for Cassie. And Uncle Stoney back again from Kansas, Oklahoma in the 72 Nova. And this car is a showpiece. And he's out showing it off this weekend. And he says, where's your race car at? Well, here it is right here, the Sam Squatch. Rolling in the kitchen. Oh, those kind of races. Notes. It's silent. Thanks to Craig, we had notes and it's still back. It's 12.5 cutty. Left lane, 1092, 112. It's just good to see the old Nova out turning last. Cougar over there, right lane. Taking on the four door 55. Brent McCoy, out of Lee's son of Missouri, 1955 Chevy, 303, 383 cubic inches. Buck McCoy's Hillbilly Garage on YouTube. Check him out. DZ Performance and his wife is a sponsor. Well, if you've got a good one, they're 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 worth their weight in gold, boys and girls. Dustin Pedersen in the right lane. Nice pat or nice hit for the uh, little cougar. Carried the wheel out there for just a second. Sets her down. Goes 632 to the eighth. 1033 with a three out the back door at 105 miles an hour. Left lane goes 1140 with a five at 116. And the Corvette back again. The Stingray. Billy Marshall in the left lane. Taking Jared Aspergen. Sutton, Nebraska. So they swapped lanes and they're going to do it again. The Corvette going to get the advantage here. Oh, no, the right lane got there first, 1032 at 143. Drove around him up there on the big end. Left lane goes 1105 at 122 miles an hour. And uh, you call it a redneck supercar, you call it whatever you want. Uh, for the money, I don't think you can beat one. Shanda Daughtry out of Eureka, Missouri. Shanda goes 836 to the 8th at 87 miles an hour. Out the back door, 1284 to 109. The heavy breathing Chevy 2, 65 model Nova in the left lane. Jerseyville, Illinois. Dean Teppen. 127 cubic inches under the hood. Cassie Farrell. Hot laughing. She's getting her money's worth this weekend, or today at least. Illinois, Missouri. 2016 Scat Pack. Nice wheels up launch for the Nova. Twenty-three at 128 miles an hour. Right lane, Cassie goes 1188 
Jeremiah Crook in the 82 Chevy C10. Eric Levesque in the right lane, back with the uh, Cutlass. Good-looking pair getting ready to go down. Got the radiator mounted in the bed of the truck. When you got a truck, you can do cool stuff like that. And left lane, Jeremiah Crook getting there first. 1061, 124 miles an hour. Right lane, 1237 at 110. Keaton Maxson back again. Taking on Red Hat Scotty. The rematch. Both these guys competing in the 650 index. R&D Performance Fab, Shaper's Oil. The sponsors in the left lane. And Red Hat Scotty. Who's this Scott Cottle guy? The 91 Mustangs. 5.3 liters of dirt floor LS. And he just decided to leave uh, a couple of days early. And Keaton Max is going to get down there to the tone of 1172, but that doesn't matter. 659 to the eighth on that 650 index. Not a bad lick there for him. And this brings up Stephen Narts in the 72 MG Midget. 2.3 liters of Ford power under the hood. With a little turbinator on the front, on the hanging off the side of it, and William Blomberg, right lane, sixty-seven El Camino, good-looking car, business up front, party out back, a uh, second gear wheelie for the little MG, and he said he changed everything just a couple of days ago. Right lane gets there first, eleven sixty-one. At 116, goes 740 to the eighth. Narks, left lane goes 892 to the eighth. Out the back door, 1386 at 101. In a car that I could pick up and carry around. That's pretty cool. Sean Larson out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And the 2007 Chevy Trailblazer SS. 364 cubic inches of LS2 power under the hood. Right lane, Joel Clark in the 79 Nova, the big bumper Nova. I'm sure all of his friends give him a hard time about the, the, the great pumpkin. Orange and black, good looking car. We're thinking he might have got biggest wheelie last year, so get your cameras pointed at the Nova. He also did a little bit of grade work on the track, is what I'm being told. Got her settled down this year. Goes 640 at 119 to the, or at 104 to the eighth. 1017 out the back door, 126. Left lane, 713 at the eighth. 95 and out the back door, 1123 at 121. The Volkswagen back again. Got the slicks on the front side of the car. Brandon Parker out of Fort Smith, Arkansas, the 2016 Volkswagen Golf. On Shanda Daughtry in the right lane. Eureka, Missouri, his hometown, or her hometown. Mopar with the IRS in the uh, right lane. And the Volkswagen with the front wheel drives in the left lane. His clutch says, uh, thank you, sir. May I have another? Seven ninety-five at eighty-six to the eighth. Left lane goes twelve fifty-three at one hundred and seven out the back door. Right lane goes thirteen twenty-four to one hundred and seven miles an hour. At the eighth, he was eight sixty-eight at eighty-four miles an hour. That beautiful coral fifty-seven Chevy over there. Got the right wheel and tire package on it. She sets right. Tougher than a 10 cent steak, boys and girls. Larry Deckard out of Hutchinson, Kansas, the 1957 Chevy. Six liters of LS power. Taking on Michael Turner out of Dexter, Michigan. It's good to see the long haul guys out here doing work. It's the whole shot. 
Not that it means much. Just a little bit of bragging rights. Going to lead the 57 all the way down through there. And Michael Turner stops the clocks. Oh, Larry Deckard gets around him. 11 79 114. And Turner goes 12 55 at 106. Richman Allen, Greenbrier, Arkansas, 2003 Corvette LS1 powered. Signal Chris Padgett in the 55 wagon. Pops a wheelie, knocks the tires, sets her down and gathers it up, stays out in front of the Corvette. Goes 730 at 115 miles an hour, right lane. 1093 at 117 for Chris Padgett out the back door. 1218 at 115 left lane for Richman Allen. Tyler Jensen. Looks like a Chevelle. Might be a Malibu. I'm not smart enough to tell. Jake Johnson in the right lane. 06. S197 Mustang. Out of Owasso, Oklahoma. All four bulbs lit. They let go of the button. Oh, big sneeze out of the right or left lane. Tyler Jensen gets her gathered back up. Mustang looks like he might be slow rolling. Left lane goes 1297 at 97 miles an hour. To the eighth goes 821 at 79. And Jake Johnson, slow rolling again, 50 miles an hour, 1652. He'll be back looking to improve that. And, it, and that was Jake Johnson, Ellie Johnson, his wife, in the right lane out of Owasso, Oklahoma. Her dad running up there, Todd Kitchen. You might remember him from the old Outlaw 10-5 days. Turbo Todd Kitchen out there getting his daughter waved up into the uh, beams. Taking on Doug Jensen out of Council Grove, Kansas. The 46 Chevy pick -em up truck. I've always been a pick -em up truck guy. 5.3 liters of LS power under the hood. And Ellie, let's go with the button. Goes 8.43 with a 7 to the 8th at 60 miles an hour. Truck gets around her, goes 14.70.57. Nelly slow roll to an 18.17.36 miles. And Red at Scotty back. Question for one solution down there on the back of the I've got my t-shirt to you. I think goes red again. His first been jinx on the tank there since that first race. He was activated as well. Nope. Right. Well, 55, I think he reset the computer. So. Get to the eighth goes 652 at 105, and that's what matters to him. 1129 and 84 out the back door. Beautiful, beautiful Malibu in the left lane. When they glow at night, you can tell they're beautiful. I mean, and that thing shines like all six of my gold teeth during the day. Judd Munich's over there in the right lane. 
good looking little new edge. Got got Craig's heart palpitating up here. Got three balls lit. There's the uh, Malibu in. We got all four. Bang, there's the light. Both up strike the tire. And looks like the Mustang is going to get there first. Can the Malibu drive around him? No, sir. 1072 out the back door at 128. Left lane goes in 1128 at 120. Yeah. So a little 57 driven by Larry Deckard. Going to switch up the lanes and see what we can do over here in the left lane, the O'Reilly lane. And in the redemption lane, Robert Miller out of Rockville, California. In the 47 Chevy Fleet line. So the LS Power in the left lane, the 383 in the right lane. Oh, and she pops pretty good just past the eighth. Goes 720 at 94 miles an hour to the eighth, 1165 out the back door at 110 for Larry Deckard. Robert Miller stops the box 1355 at 101 miles an hour. The Wood Grain, 73 Elko, out of Marthasville, Missouri, driven by Kyle Hood. Got the 5.3 liter LS under the hood. And the Pontiac GTO out of Douglas, Kansas, left lane. Woo, Charlie. She come unglued. Did the sideways, Johnny. Got her gathered up. And John Perkins gets there first, 1091 at 89 miles an hour. Kyle Hood might have wore his brown pants today. 1458, 99 miles an hour. So we're going to hold him up just for a second, do a quick sweep and drag. Got the John Deere combine rolling through the pit. He stayed at the lamp lighter last night. So we have 12 media personnels groups on the on the property today even if you got your helmet on smile it makes the picture better <laughs> it do so my baby uh, a couple weekends ago we were at atlanta motor speedway racing on pit road and she smiled in a picture of her shadow it made the picture better i'm sure so if you don't follow these guys on the old uh social medias check out chris story photo Trackside Media, 3G Video, Chris Hogan, Codad Media, Johnny Allen Photography, Photography by Chesney, Go Fast Production, Martin Photography, Morrow Photography, Twisted Angle Garage, and Urban Hillbilly. Check them all out. Give them a like. Give them a follow. They might make you famous. Just like Chris Story is trying to break his camera up here, taking a picture of me. Some of the greatest pictures I've, I've, I, I think my profile picture right now is a Chris Story photo, and uh, I forgot to tag him on there. I was new to Facebook again. Um, I was without a Facebook for six months because the Russians come in and hacked me and spammed me, and uh, it was a bad deal. But I'm finally back under my stage name, Bill Caps. So. Uh, you can see that wonderful Chris Story photo there. Or, like I said, go follow him on all your favorite social medias. The guy has been all the way as far north as uh, Alaska and as far south as uh, Florida, as far east as way over there, and as far west as the other way. I mean, I guess Alaska would be as far west as you could ever get to, I mean, uh, technically, without going to Hawaii. And who wants to go to Hawaii? No, nobody, really. Yeah. I've only got like one drag strip. What 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 good is that? It's not. That's that's how good it is. So again, go go follow all these great guys and gals on our social media. 
and uh, they'll they'll make you famous or at least give you a good picture to put up as your profile picture. Don't forget to give them props. If you've got some extra money, buy some photography from, or some pictures from these guys and gals. Uh, they do an amazing job. Chris, Story, like I can't say enough about your pictures. You went you went from basically a kid I knew that you know just kind of hung out to being one of the forerunners in in what we do, taking pictures and. And some of your rollers, I mean, are just some of the shots of Phil's car in Alaska are like bucket lists just to look at. I mean, I can't imagine being there and and the journey you guys had. Uh, yeah, it's just cool to just cool to know you, man. And uh, I'm sure all these great people, like uh, what was it, Johnny Allen? He's a youngster down there, and he's got the passion for the game. He he's a uh, Shoot, he shoots here at Mocan every weekend. Give him a like and a follow. Check him out. And and I firmly believe that all of you guys in 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 the in your media coverage and everything that you do make our sport what it is. Without you guys, people wouldn't see the cool pictures. People wouldn't see the cool cars. We know the tree fell in the woods because we was in the woods. But there are people out there that don't see what we do, and you guys kick out the jams. And I've even had people like, where was this? What was that? And I'm like, oh, dude, that was over here. You know, you need to check that race out. And it was due to, you know, these great, this great media coverage that we get. I can talk about it, but if you ain't here, you ain't going to, you're not going to hear it, you know? And I mean, those pictures, they reach far and wide. And, uh, you know, Sean Melton's been doing it for forever. Like how long's a piece of string? Too damn long. That's how long. But I, I grew up watching his videos. Um, and and you know uh, 3D media down or 3G media down there. Jesse Fox actually up in the tower with us today. Usually you compete in in these drag and drive events. This year trying to build up your social media coverage and and take pictures and 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 as I say, do the Lord's work. Send it, yes sir. Send it media. You can check them out online. And uh, yeah, my memory is horrible, so I, I try to keep all this stuff straight. And a lot of times it lasts through the weekend, but as soon as I get home Monday. Uh, I I can't remember anything. I'm you know, and I go back and I look at these pictures. And it's like, oh, that was that was awesome. That was great. These big burnouts, these rollers, wheels up. You know, cars that you wouldn't see popping wheelies, popping wheelies. You know, and, and these guys tend to have a, a, they have a tendency to take a picture of, like, they get that that precise moment when your car is popping the the first wheelie. That that little bit of daylight under the tire. I was talking to. Jack Crawford, you know, they've they've been trying to get a wheelie picture out of that car for a couple of years now. And I mean, like, almost a little bit of daylight and due to a little bit of camber, you know, it's still touching the ground a little bit. I think we're going to see it this weekend. He's he's moved some weight around. He's done some things. He's got a turbo the size of my head under the hood of that thing. And. And I do have a big head. Yeah, it's I have to get all my hats and extra large and hope that they fit. Even had to cut the back of a few of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's great to be out here for this deal. I love – this is my favorite style of event. Like, uh, it, it's – and I'm not being mean here, but it's like a better class of losers. These guys, they all build their own cars. They all do their own thing. They don't show up in stackers. They show up with a trailer behind their race car or their fun car. And um, it's just a – it's just a different class of racer. A lot of these guys, small business owners, they do their own thing. They promote their own business through their race car. They eat, sleep, and drink this stuff. And it's it's just, just my kind of people. And this brings up Wade Sunderland out of Sat Sat Satana, not Santana, Kansas, in the 71 GMC C15. 454 cubic inches of big block Chevrolet taking on Brian Acton out of Pearson, Michigan. The beautiful 70 Nova. Again, J-Wire Solutions, Baker Engineering, Capizzi Auto. See this car when we go up to 131. Always fast up there. And looking to be fast and have a good time this weekend. And again, Vinyl Top. That's I'm just going to leave you with that. The password is Vinyl Top. With, with good glue. And the track looks like it's got some good glue. 
goes in the eighth, 547 at 128, 855 out the back door. And the pick em up truck goes 992 to the eighth, 74 miles an hour. And out the back, 1527 at 91 miles an hour. And I, I have a hard time calling it an OBS. The Carter Snell in the right lane in the OBS Chevy, the 94 Chevy truck, C1500. Taking on Seth Pennington, the 2012 Cadillac CTSB. Doing it in style. A lot of y'all ain't even old enough to remember the, the, the old Cadillac commercial. This is not your father's Cadillac. No, it is certainly not. Got all four lit. Truck strikes the tire. A tire, the tire of fire, one wheel peel. Driving to the center of the track while the Cadillac going to get there first. 10 119 miles. Right lane, the pickup up truck goes 12.02. Not too shabby for a truck. I can remember that was fast for a car. 118 miles an hour for Carter Snell over there in the right lane. Dustin Peterson already up there patiently waiting in the Cougar. Left wheels up last time. Hook your cameras on that hot rod. Shannon Daughtry in the right lane out of Eureka, Missouri. In the Mopon. Old school cool. Get there first. Hikes that left front tire out. Checks out. Hold a little Mopar. And he gets there first. 1077 at 94 miles an hour. Right lane. Shanda goes 1304 to 107. Billy Teeter, the 2000 Ford Mustang. Getting him a nice little burn him out. Junkyard 302 with a blow through. Yeah, a blow through. Bill likes the carbonators, so he's probably got a fresh pair of New Balances on. Michael Turner in the right lane, the little uh, dark swinger. The new edge kicking it old school. Billy Teeter going to get there first. Goes 690 to the eighth at 100 miles an hour, 11 or 1079 at 125. And Michael Turner in the right lane. Goes 1254 to 106. Steve Brack in the left lane out of Stillwell, Kansas. The 99 Chevy S10. 370 cubic inches. Good enough to pop a wheelie a couple of times. And Curtis Myers in the right lane out of Lakewood, Colorado. Sounds like he still might have the mountain tune in it. Twin turbo LS 6 liter. Myers Mechanical of Lakewood, Colorado. The DA was 800 about an hour ago. Uh, not mine shaft conditions, but uh, not too shabby. Not for the Midwest. First Myers goes 1380 at 73 off the loud pedal. And right lane or left lane goes 902 at 113 and a little less 10. Steven Nart, can he get another second gear wheelie? Send it media out there. You're going to take a picture of it for sure if it happens. Man, every time I see the Elko over there in the right lane driven by William Blomberg. It just looks pretty every time I see it. Big block Chevrolet powered Elko taking on the 2.3 liter turbo urged MG in the left lane. And their door handle, the door handle, boys and girls. And Steven Narx gets there first, 1185 with a nine at 112 miles an hour. Right lane, 1166 at 115, but he got treed. 383 in the left lane reaction time for Steven Narks. 
right lane goes 595 on the reaction time. Jordan Shaw out of Columbia, Missouri. The good looking little GH. There's man, those are good looking hot rods. If you're you need a family hauler, uh that's that's the car to holler at right there. Aaron Roberts out of Oolaga, Oklahoma. In the S550. And boy, these things run like a snotty nose, that late model 302. When they uh when they brought back the 50 moniker. I was not a happy camper, but they definitely carry on the tradition. High revving little 302 cubic inch engines. Not going to make the hit this time. Jordan Shaw. Run down there solo. Goes seven at 73 to the eighth at 88 miles an hour. Right lane 12, seven, or I'm sorry, left lane goes 12, 17 at 110 to the quarter. Eric Kuhn in the 55 Chevy out of Great Bend, Kansas. LS Power Under the Hood taking on Doug Jensen out of Cancel Grove, Kansas. 1946 Chevy pickup up truck. Yes, sir. Tuned by JP on the back window. That means business. It looks like we might have a new fast. Drive balls on this hot rod. So I, we, we, we don't have, I'm going to jinx somebody here. We don't have a taker on the first broke trophy yet. Brought to you by Senate race media. Oh, and, uh, how you win that? Well, we've got to see outside part or inside parts on the outside. That's how you win that. Seen a few baby wheelies, but nothing too crazy. I think the S10 so far on the uh, wheelie for today. Comes over on the car in the left lane. So go ahead and send the pick em up truck driven by Doug Jensen. Yeah, it goes 827 to the eighth mile at 84 and out the back door 1308 at 96. Turning off the GoPro, we got the door open. We're going to back him out. Good looking little hot rod. So again, to win the first broke, you got to put outside inside parts on the outside. So this this is a uh, just a little hiccup up. Fire it back up again. Down. Here we go. Just idle it down the left lane. Oh, 
I'm like they well they got it to run at least. Maybe they'll go back to the pits and do a little bit of bleep blooping and uh, bring her back. He'll rotate the earth. This brings up James Young out of Springfield, Missouri. Shanda Daughtry again. Back for another lick. Dick the S10. Got the rallies with the disc brake hubcaps. Nice, clean little machine. It up. So a little pickup truck in the left lane, 1130 at 119 miles an hour out the back door. Right lane, 1366, seven at 106. And here is one of my favorite cars. It's got the full-length exhaust on it, the LX stainless steel exhaust hanging out over the back, under the back bumper. Mike Kimmis at 11 on Missouri. The 89 Fox body sitting lower in a snake's belly in a wheel rut. Keep your eyeballs on this little hot rod. Taking on Dean Teppen in the right lane out of Jerseyville, Illinois. The 65 Chevy Nova. 127 cubic inches under the hood of that hot rod. Chemist has got the parachute off the back. Means it runs faster than 150 in the quarter. Wheels up for the Nova. Meanwhile, Chemist driving out of his life. Keep your eyeballs on the scoreboard. He goes 540 to the eight. 847 with a two at 159 miles an hour out the back door. I'm sorry, Dean Teppen goes 1023 at 129. Brent McCoy in the left lane, the 55 four door. You know, Danny Tellman in the right lane out of Jeff City, Missouri. Right lane goes 1109 at 120 miles an hour. Left lane, little four door goes 1136 at 117. And the right lane. Picks up that left front tire about two foot, carries it out there a ways. Get ready for this little lick. All bulbs lit. Got her calm down just a little bit. See if it shows in ET. Six forty eight on the six fifty, I believe. Eleven fourteen at eighty five miles an hour. So Co Cody Walker out of Nashville, Tennessee. They broke the hot rod, so they brought the wife's hot rod. Jack Crawford out of Briar, Oklahoma. I love this car. They call it the Yacht One. First lick on a whole new setup. Will it pop a wheelie? That's a great looking pair right there. If you don't like that, you don't like nothing. Strikes the tires. Gathers it up. Looks like he might have a trail of something leading behind him. 654 to the 8th. 1116 out the back door to 83 miles an hour. So it dumped a little bit of dirt. Cody Walker goes 1175 at 115 on that first lick of that hot rod. The Cutlass. Jen Hopping. The Muldrow, Muldrow, Oklahoma. 496 cubic inches of big block shovel. They take it on Kyle Hood.
1132 over there for Kyle Hood, 121. A great improvement over his sideways Johnny pass earlier. Left lane 12, 16, 113 miles an hour. A little bit of starting line prep down there. Getting ready for Curtis Myers in the left lane out of Lakewood, Colorado. In that beautiful G8 turbo six-liter powered machine. Myers Mechanical sponsor on that hot rod. Being on Shannon Daughtry in the right lane out of Eureka, Missouri. Looking at quick pause for the cause. Mike Kimmis, Mike Kimmis, please come to the second floor of the tower, racer uh, control, race control. Mike Kimmis to race control, second floor of the tower, please. A little twin turbo G8 in the left lane. Bumping in. Flicker in that bottom ball. He's in. Yeah. Got her hooked up this time. We're hooking and booking. The eighth goes 685 at 102. Out the back, 1070 at 128 miles an hour. Right lane goes 1340 at 106. Stops the clocks there. 840. I'm sorry, 880 to the 8th at 84 miles an hour. New Edge Cobra in the right lane. Really a Cobra? Because that would be a rare color in the green. Does have the tail lights. It's got the back bumper. Got the badges, even though we don't need no sneaking badges. And this was the matchup back in the day. Corvette, the 03 model in the left lane. Rich Van Allen taking on State Stephen Brannon. Gear, second gear, 797 or 91 for Rich Van Allen in the left lane. Stops the clock 1224 at 114 in the quarter. Right lane, 1736, slow rolling at 96. Ellie Johnson putting it back in the left lane in the 95 Pontiac Firebird out of Owasso, Oklahoma. Brad Long over there in the heavy breathing S197 out of Broken Narrow, Oklahoma. Speed locks on the back. Good to see Todd Kitchen out there with his daughter. Always cool when they keep it family. She rolls in deep. 
It was 277 on the tree. Riley, Brad Long moving right along. 538 at 130 of the eighth. 875 at 125 out the back door. And Ellie picks up a ton. Goes 1226 at 112. And uh, that's that's pretty all right. Hi, Todd. And again, we need chemists back or up here to race control. John Larson, the uh, 07 Chevy Trailblazer. Joel Clark in the right lane in the 79 Chevy Nova, 427 cubic inches of conventional small block Chevrolet. Don't need no LS stuff under the hood of that hot rod. Cole Clark goes 1019 at 130. Left lane, Sean Larson goes 11 at 25 at 120. Josh Anderson. Send it. 738 to the 8th at 92 miles an hour. Out the back, 1165 at 114. And it looks like the little Mopar moved out of the groove. A little bit more finesse there out of the launch. 182 is to the 60 foot. 809 at 86 miles an hour at the 8th. And out the back door, 1261 at 108. What a great time to be alive. You can go buy a 12 second car at the dealership. And just like anything else that's good, they've discontinued them. I mean, you know, huh, all wheel drive twin turbo inline six next year. Sounds just funky enough to be something cool, maybe. Will it be like when Ford decided they wanted to put a turbo four cylinder in Mustangs? I love them. I love them. I'm just saying, there you go. But you put one of those in an MG and they pop second gear wheels. A little S550, ripping and gripping. 164, 60 foot car out of a fairly stock looking little hot rod. Goes 673 at 110. <laughs> and 74 to 106 miles an hour. Aaron Roberts out of Ulagos. No info on the little 68 Firebird down there. And I'm just weird enough, I always like the Firebirds over the Camaros. Just a little bit different. I 
I didn't know anything about the inline six overhead cam. That's Fifteen oh one ninety six miles an hour. Brings up Steve Brack over here in the old Riley Lane. The ninety nine Chevy S ten. He's been leaving wheels up. So far, I think he's a contender for the big wheelie. Not huge, but big. Well, I'm saying let's a rip. Got her settled down. Didn't improve the performance, though. 1033 at 104 miles an hour. Eaton Maxson. Back again, looking to get closer to that 650 index. Be watching eighth mile times on this little R&D Performance Fab Schaefer's Oil S10. Red Hat Scotty coming up here to, to put the voodoo on his hoodoo. Nice little lick. And to the eight goes 663 at 105. So it looks like you're still holding it down. Goes 663. So you're still holding it down. I think you're 652. Hot lap that thing. And Jordan Shaw out of Columbia, Missouri. So the G8 over here in the left lane, again, good looking little hot rods for a four door. You got to put that disclaimer in there. Danny Cameron in the right lane, that beautiful Malibu. Goes 688 to the eighth at 98 miles an hour out the back, 1099 with a three at 109 miles an hour. Jordan Shaw goes 1214 at 111. And the Grande Mustang. Pulling in in the right lane. Brandon McElroy out of Lebanon, Missouri. Get on Jeremiah Crook in the 82 Chevy C10 out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Raunchy ground day. Ain't no need to patina my ride. My ride's done been patina. The pick em up trucks. Going to get there first. Go 676 to the 8. 1067 out the back door. It's almost a dyslexic dream right there. 125 miles an hour. Right lane goes 1278 at 105. Another good looking Malibu. Our little 68 Firebird back in effect. Brought her right back on around. See the coil overs and all the fun stuff poking out behind that little Malibu. Soft on the hit. Still goes 166 at a 60 foot. 655 to the 8. 1048 at 105 out the back door. Our little 68 picks up considerably. Goes 1625 to 67. Still better than last time. Yeah. She had a little uh, antifreeze and a carburetor, seemed like, on the first, first lick. A little speed buggy joke there. Patrick Nelson, left lane, Claremore, Oklahoma. In the 55 at Bel Air. Ooh. He must not like his tires. You just wait till you got to buy your own tires, mister. But gets it gathered up. Goes 673 to the eighth. And 1010. 10, and 33 out the back. And Cassie Farrell. 1191 at 115. Dustin Pedersen over there in the right lane. The Cougar. Yeah. He's got sound effects. 
<laughs> and Wade centered on the left lane. I'm the, every time this Cougar makes a hit, I like it just a little bit more. Kind of like that girl you thought you wasn't interested in until the end of the night, and you're like, yeah, I dig your style, baby. Let's go. Okay. The Gordon, the Gordon Lasker effect. I need a saw blade on the quarter of this quarter panel. Eleven ninety two in the right lane. Dustin Pedersen, sixty miles an hour off the loud pedal. Goes six fifty two. Uh so we got another contender in that six fifty class. He's all over Red Hat Scotty. Wade Sunderland goes fourteen forty four at ninety two. Good Munich's over here in the left lane out of Republic, Missouri, in that good looking new edge. Taking on Jody Carney. Oh, wheels up for the little Vega. I can dig it. Meanwhile, the new edge riding out. It was 599 of the eight. Let's we'll stop the clocks on the big end. 947 at 135. Uh, I, I'd take that. 1074, 124 miles an hour for Jody Carney. And couldn't get father son lined up again. Cody Carney going to make a hit in the right lane this time against Brent McCoy sitting in the O'Reilly lane. The four door 55 taking on the Camaro. Buck McCoy's Hillbilly Garage on YouTube is where you can find more info, or no more info on the little four door 55. And the Camaro, right lane goes 674 with a nine at 101. 1070 at 113 out the back door. 1137 for Brent McCoy at 117. Danny Cameron out of Fort Smith, Arkansas, left lane, that beautiful Malibu. Cassie Farrell in the right lane. 2016 Scat Pack Challenger, RT. I bet she has made a dozen runs today. Malibu going to get there first. Goes 687 to the A. 1098 out the back door at 108 miles an hour. And Cassie, 1189 at 114. She's going to turn in two uh, very close time slips. I'm guessing she's in your you versus you. So trying to get her dial in set.
Bo Pickard out of Miami, Oklahoma. First trip down the track for this long roof. Sean Larson in the left lane, that beautiful 2007 Chevy Trailblazer SS. Little baby wheelie out of the mom van. And putting in work. Long roof versus long roof. The SUV going to get there first. Goes 715 or 94 to the 8th. 1127 with a 9 at 120. Bo Pickard over there in the right lane goes 13 of 14 at 103. 841 to the eighth in that redemption lane. Uh oh. Red Hat Scotty back. Been 652. Looking to tighten that up just a little bit. I believe Keaton Maxson won the grudge race. I believe that's how that went. $530. Going towards Children Haven, Children's Haven of Southwest Missouri. Three lit. There's Red Hat Scotty. Let him go. Hole shot for the youngster in the S10. And to the eighth mile, Keaton goes 647, a little too fast. And Red Hat Scotty goes 655 with a five. So not better than his 652 from earlier. Larry Decker in the left lane out of Hutchinson, Kansas. The 57 Chevy, six liter LS power under the hood. And I think if I was uh, shopping for a 57 Chevy in 1957, the coral and white combo would uh, win my heart. Brandon McElroy in the Grande Mustang. Three balls lit. Got seven seconds to bump in. Gets there. Tree comes down. Hole shot. Brandon McElroy. But here comes the 57 Chevy. Drives around him by the eighth. Goes 741 and 94 miles an hour to the eighth mile. And gets to the top end first. Goes an 1160 with a 9 at 116 miles an hour. Right lane. Brandon McElroy. Goes 1256 at 107. Mike over there out of Richmond. Missouri in the 74 Opal Manta. Small car, big LS, 385 cubic inches of it to be exact. And Frankie Shepard out of Grove, Oklahoma, the 73 Dark Swinger, 340 cubic inches. Top bulbs lit. Right lane goes in first, a little Opal. Hikes up that left front tire. Goes 672 to the eighth at 99. And the redemption lane, 1069, 123. Mike Angrier. Shepard goes 1393 at 89 miles an hour. All righty, Bob Larson in the 38 Dodge Coupe. I love this hot rod. Big old monster wheelie. Get your cameras out. Get them pointed towards that candy-coated hot rod in the left lane. 68 
Firebird in the right lane. Wheels up. Yes, sir. Drives it out of the groove, grabs a handle on that shovel, and gets her gathered up. Points her down the big end. Goes 721 to the eighth at 94 miles an hour. Out the back door. 1139 at 115. Right lane, 1390 at 100 miles an hour. All right, attention to the pits. Attention in the pits. Being that we got a little bit of a late start and we've still got a bunch of cars in tech and registration, we are going to back off of our two time slip mandatory and go to one time slip only today. And then at two o'clock, we will open one lane for hard tire. We'll still keep the other right lane prepped for drag radials and slicks. And then at 3 o'clock, we will go free-for-all. It'll be both lanes, radial, hard tires. But again, pay attention in that 2 o'clock hour. We'll get a lane assignment for those hard tire guys, and we will try to put them in a common lane. And then again, one time slip today is, is, is fine. And then, like I said, at 3 o'clock, we'll open up both lanes for hard tire. It'll be a free-for-all. But at 2 Please pay attention to where I call you to if you're on a hard tire, and we will try to keep you in a specific lane. I'll let you know. Also, we got posts going up on Facebook on the uh, Circuit Dragon Drive page, and it'll be on the racer page as well. So just a little heads up, and thank you for working with us. Rhubarb says a little Chevy love. Lee Miller in the right lane. That's a, is that a Pontiac or a? That's not a Malibu in the left lane, is it? Okay, so it it. Look at these. The wings throwing me off. Luxury shouldn't have high performance. Like it, I, I the wing, it's got me. Well, you know, I mean, they see Whitney made some fine stuff in the in the seventies and eighties. I tried to order a pace setter header for my Isuzu truck, and it never. Same deal. Ultra Stafford going to get there first. 12, 14, 113. Lee Miller. And the little Chevy Love goes 12, 45, and 106. Brad Armstrong in the extended cab S10. Taking on Zach Armstrong. I think this is the cousin race we talked about last night in the parking lot. The S10 looks like something you might see at the Sonic Drive-In on Friday, Saturday night. And the Malibu got the bumper shaved off of it on the rallies. S10 with a slight advantage, but here comes the Malibu. Letting it rip up. Oh, 11.68 for Brad Armstrong. Gets there first. Left, left lane, 12.07 at 114. Ronde back again. Brandon McElroy out of Lebanon, Missouri. Ryan Acton out of Pearson, Michigan. And like I said, I, I, I dig the final tops. You already know this. Brian Acton winning the 850 index sick week. And again, I see that car when I go up to US 131. Runs like a snotty nose. Goes 545 at 128 to the eighth. Goes 852 at, at 158. That's hard to hard to complain about. 1286 in the left lane at 91 miles an hour. Big body Chevelle SS over here in the left lane, taking on the 55. What a great looking pair going down the track. Top bulbs lit. Left lane goes in first. Right lane right behind him. Larry Decker getting left at the tree by Danny Tellman. Tellman trying to make a move. I think it's going to be too little, too late. Or I'm sorry, Decker trying to make a move. Left lane gets there first. 11 at 79. 
Deckard goes 11.39, And these S550 Mustangs with the 5.0 Coyotes, I revving, like I said, I when they brought back the 5.0 moniker, I really wasn't happy, but these things, they, they, uh, they haul the mail. Christopher Fetcher in the left lane, Dustin Pedersen in the right lane. And the old school Cougar showing him what time it is. But here comes the Mustang. Does he drive around him? Mustang gets there first, goes 10.58 at 111. Drove smooth around him. Dustin Pedersen goes 12.40 at 53. 6.59 to the eighth. All right, guys. Hey, it's Mike Narks here uh, up in the tower with Cliff and Craig. I want to say thank you so much for your patience today. It has been an awesome morning <laughs> so far. I don't know if you heard a minute ago, but attention in the pits, attention in the pits. At 2 p.m., we will open a lane. We don't know which lane yet, but we will open a lane for hard tire cars. Did I say one? No, we... we Craig's in here saying two for two. We're going to open one lane for hard tires at 2 o'clock, both lanes at 3 o'clock for hard tires. We're working through tech right now. Thank you to William Noble and Austin Martin for helping with headlights, taillights, blinkers, and horn. We're working through this, guys. Thank you so much. We've already got plans in place for next year to make this smoother. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Big bumper Nova in the right lane. Six sixty two in the right lane. Hundred four miles an hour. Right lane goes ten thirty eight out the back door. That was Tom Taylor in the right lane. Colter Stafford in the left lane went twelve oh two at one hundred eleven. Seven sixty five. The Grande Mustang, boy, he's uh, put some laps on that dude. Like, quick, fast, and in a hurry. I dig it. Brandon McElroy out of Lebanon, Missouri. Jake Johnson in the right lane. The other half of Ellie Johnson. All over the tire. Grabs another gear. And Brandon McElroy, no, Jake Johnson drives around him. 1260 with an 8, 111 miles an hour. And I believe that little hot rod's coyote swapped. Left lane goes 1320 to 84 miles an hour. C6 Corvette, LS1 powered, Rich Van Allen in the left lane, taking on the Chevy Love. It's like McDonald's, I'm loving it. Lee Miller in that redemption lane. Been rolling through the gears, looking at the tail lights of a Chevy Love. Love gets there first, 12, 21, 107 miles an hour. 12.05 with a 7 from Rich Van Allen in the left lane. Carto in the right lane out of Kansas, Oklahoma. I wonder if he knows Uncle Stoney. I bet he do. Yeah, everybody knows everybody in Kansas, Oklahoma.
Camaro versus Firebird. Take a nice little trip down Mo King Drag Way. 12.24 with a 6. Richard, the right lane, 107 miles an hour. Left lane goes 13.57, 101. So the S550 taking on the, the new edge. Crawling. And like I said, I didn't I didn't like it when they put the 50 moniker back out again, but those things run like a snotty nose. 1032, 123 miles an hour. On, yeah, on the break. Right, I think it was 14, 11, 100 miles an hour. I think if I was going to go get a payment book, it'd be a brand new F-150 right now. The little regular cab short bed work truck with the Coyote. If there's even there's even places in the country that'll go ahead and put that blower on there for you. You just can't tune on it or you avoid the factory warranty, which at that point, I mean, why not, right? So this is my arch nemesis and fierce rival in high school. The little Camaro, the catfish Camaro. Lionel Shaw in the right lane. It's the right color at least. I can put Jesus on the back window. Solid running little unit. It goes 850, 3 at 80 miles an hour to the 8th, 1337 at 101. That would have been a good race for my Mustang back in the day. Cody Walker in the right lane, taking on Timothy Taylor in the left lane. Elko. Oh, tons of fun in the right lane, getting out on him. So what's it like to run 752 to the eighth on your couch? The Elko gets there first, 1143 at 117 miles an hour. Cody stops the clocks 1176 at 115 in luxury. Awkward launch out of both of those hot rods. The little Cutlass got it gathered up first. Bottomed out the suspension, gathered it up. Goes 802 at 90 miles an hour. Stops the clocks in that redemption lane, 1231 with a 5 at 114 miles an hour. Left lane, 1570 at 85. And got a little bit of work to do before they come back. Maybe a 
if you got some adjustable shocks, might do some adjusting. Gary Ketch and the big old Caprice making the trip from Great Bend, Kansas. Seth Pennington, Michigan. Seth Pennington in the right lane out of Augusta, Kansas. Yeah, we've got some long haulers all the way from Michigan, Colorado, all over everywhere. Both these guys, Kansas, Kansans. I don't know. How would you say that? They're from Kansas. Clarmoreans. Claire morons. <laughs> oh, so Cadillac taking on the Caprice. Oh, Caprice runs pretty hard for his big body. Yeah, knew, knew what he was working with. That 325 60 foot. Wow. The left lane goes 1299 at 121. That's like riding a Barca lounger down there. 1081 at 130 for the right lane, Seth Pennington. And the Elko goes 728 at 95 mile an hour. 1145 at 117 out the back door. And don't forget, Mocan concession stands, they're... Alive and well down there. If you want something ice cold to drink, something warm to eat, go check them out. And we've also got the Mocan uh, merch down there. If you're looking for a Mocan t-shirt, you need to grab you one while the grabbing's good. I got me one last year. You just tore up your Mocan hoodie, didn't you? Yeah, you need a new one. We for sure need a new one of those. She decided that she could sneak through a gate down there at Atlanta Drag or Atlanta's uh speedway and she got the got the pouch so get swing down there and check out that mocan merch and the mocan snack bar john perkins coming back around in the gto this thing runs pretty hard keep your eyeballs on it I'm guessing he's looking for that 650. Missed it by that much. 649 with an 8. Close, but no cigar. Just seen one of my drag and drive favorites. Dustin Cottle pull into the lanes for his first hit.
just sprinkled about. We got a pause for the cause. We got something on the big end down there. We're going to check out. A little bit of downtime. I want to thank our presenting sponsor, Summit Racing Equipment, Molly Motorsports. Our live stream sponsor, On the Spot Auto Repair, Scavenger Hunt sponsor, Great Apparel Printing and Design. That checklist will be given away after the passes are submitted on Saturday. Our stick, our stick shift class sponsor, JPM Dyno and Tuning. Our 650 Index class sponsor, R&D Performance and Fab. You versus you being brought to you by Car Chains 3D. Our Street Race Power Rider class being brought to you by Molly Motorsports. Specialty trophies are first broke being brought to you by Send It Race Media. And again, no takers today. So fingers crossed. I, I, I know that Send It wants to give away that trophy, that hand built trophy, but uh, wouldn't it be great to uh, go all weekend without having to give that away? And again, to qualify for that, inside parts need to be on the outside part. So just being kind of broke doesn't count for that. The Biggest Wheelie being brought to you by Four Eye Performance and Johnny Allen Photography. Slowest Average ET brought to you by the Stone Cypher Family Racing. Young Gun being brought to you by Max and Racing. A little bit of important information coming over the uh, the, the walkies right now. And again, that Young Gun Award being brought to you by Max and Racing. Media class by Olive Branch Acres. Fastest truck by, brought to you by Revved Up Laser Works. And this year's charity, Children's Haven of Southwest Missouri. $25 of each entry going to that. And I think $530 on that first race. We've got several things that will be going into that pot this weekend. Uh, looking for $7,500 is what we're trying to raise for Children's Children's Haven of Southwest Missouri. And if you're on the live feed and you'd like a racer shout out, donations, $5 donated to Drag, Drive, and Repeat. That'll go, again, all of that money going to Children's Haven of Southwest Missouri. You just get on the uh, live stream on Drag, Drive, and Repeat YouTube live stream and uh, shout out your favorite racer. It's just a $5 donation. And make sure you're sharing that live stream if you're out there. Uh, he 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 might have went all the way through the ditch, but he's down there had some problems. So uh, sending some some crew down there to get him dug out, get him brought back to his pit. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and send the next pair. Frankie Shepard in the left lane, the '73 Dodge Dart Swinger, 340 cubic inches under the hood, taking on Chris Gosh out of Bunker Hill, Illinois. Another decent little drive there. Good looking hot rod in the right lane. The two tone job broke up with the flame pattern. Yeah, I mean, like Street Trucks Magazine 99 2000, that's where you'd have found that. And she runs like a snotty nose to the eighth mile, goes 706 at 95 miles an hour, 1117 
at 118. Right or left lane goes 14, 18 at 91. And here's one of my favorites, boys and girls, Dustin Cottle. He's running that eighth mile in limited class. Looks like he's got the 315s on it this weekend. No, they're looking. Aaron Roberts in the right lane out of Ulaga, the S550 Mustang. Dustin bumps in, lets it rip. Little bit of tire shake. Looks like he might have a belt hanging down in the front. But gathers it up. Goes 613 to the eighth at 119. And 942 out the back door means nothing to him. Again, in that eighth mile unlimited class. Right lane goes 12, 19, and 81. Doug Jensen back around in that 46 Chevy pickup up truck out of Council Grove, Kansas. Taking on John Daltrey in the left lane. Tire speed. Ten fifty six with a seven hundred and thirteen miles an hour for John Daughtry in the left lane. And fourteen fifty eight in the right lane at a hundred. Gentleman Jim back again. Last year he uh spit an axle out. Kind of a rare truck over there in the right lane in the black and gold. That's Brian Dater taking on Tyler Jensen in the left lane. Jensen gets the whole shot, but here comes Gentleman Jim. And the old pick -em up truck getting the job done. Goes 819 to the 8th, 1255 out the back door, 112 miles an hour. And Tyler going to get there. Goes 1892 at 53. And here comes the Yacht 1. Probably one of the coolest cars on the property, LS powered. Jack Crawford out of Pryor, Oklahoma. Taking on Bob Coding in the right lane out of Jeff City, Missouri. The 1967 Chevy Camaro. Beautiful hot rod. Oh, wow. First gear, second gear, kind of a lane changer. And Jack not getting what he wants. Maybe he's going to get some data here. Take her back to the pits and uh, plug the old bleep bloop machine in and uh, see what she did or didn't do. Right lane goes 10 at 12 at 70, uh, 132 miles an hour after he gets her gathered up. But those spurs was jingling and jangling down here at the starting line. Oh, boy. If you were a Mustang man like myself, these things uh, with a little bent six-cylinder in them struck fear in your heart when you were out cruising Memorial in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The long roof over there in the right lane, though, all tinted up, menacing. That's Bo Pickard out of Miami, Oklahoma, over there in the right lane. Jeff Merrick in the Grand National. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say chocolate brown. It's definitely darker than mocha. Turkey turd, turkey turd 10. 1190 with a four for the little Grand National, 113 miles an hour. Right lane goes 1380 in the long roof, 102 miles an hour. Beautiful little hot rod in the left lane. Chris, Christina Kessner out of Choctaw, Oklahoma. Got some family down there. And, and my first ride in a fast car was in a little uh, Dodge Demon. I think that's the duster down there. With the taillights, I always thought they was about as cool as the other side of the pillow. Way above or way ahead of their time.
Christina going to go ahead and send her down while they're trying to get Eric Kuhn dialed in. And she just don't want her today. Left lane, 1432 at 91 miles an hour. Not a bad little lick for that hot rod. I would, uh, I'd buy that for a dollar. Okay, sounds like we got the little 55 dialed in from Eric Kuhn over there in the right lane. Nope, just going to send her down as an idling pass again. Not sure what they got going on. I hope they get, get that figured out. That's a beautiful hot rod. In his high school car, the 55 Chevy Bel Air. Yeah. Another 55 in the right lane, the gasser style. Nose up in the air. Got the seaweed flames with the beautiful black paint job. Fifty fives a pair. And again, we're still getting cars through registration and tech, so no info for that hot rod in the right lane other than it's just cool. And he's number two sixty two in your program and number one in your hearts, right? They're working through it. They've they've got a little help down there and they're doing the thing in tech. Nelson with all the tire speed. Who says spinning ain't winning? Goes 640 to the eighth, 964 at 152 out the back. And the gasser goes an 1171 at 114. It's back again in the good looking little two tone hot rod. Taking on the G8, driven by Jordan Shaw in the redemption lane. Four door out front. But the Chevelle drives around them. Goes 1152 at 117 miles an hour in the O'Reilly lane for Chris Ghosh. Jordan Shaw, again in the redemption lane, right side of the track, 1216 at 111. The next pair doing their burn them out. Ooh, Timothy Taylor out of Havana, Arkansas. In the early 70s, Nova, maybe 69. I'm not 100. Mike Kemis in the right lane. Then 847 out of Lebanon, Missouri. In that 89 model Mustang again. There's something about a black on black LX50 Mustang, and I, it's probably far from a 50 anymore. But with the stainless steel head tail lights poking out from underneath the bumper, full exhaust, if you turbo coyote, yeah, late model 50. Those things RPM, they do all the things right. Beautiful car. Rolls in. Let's go with a button. Nova driving around just a little bit. Stick shift car. Yes, sir. And Chemist goes 9 at 29, 148 miles an hour. 594 to the eighth. And Timothy Taylor in the left lane goes 1088, 121. Yeah, you got to love that third pedal. And every time you shift gears, you got to move that steering wheel just a little bit, you know, for effect. Brad Armstrong back again in the little extendo cab. Still got the jump seats in it. He said his nephews were coming down. He's going to pack them around for the weekend in the back seat of that thing. Pretty cool. Three bulbs lit. Wait on the Mustang. Mustang knocks the tires and he gathers it up. Decides to abort the run and save a little bit of equipment. Meanwhile, Brad Armstrong on a heater goes 741 to the eighth. Out the back door, 1157 at 117 miles an hour.
corner. And uh, that's that's their dial for the weekend. Something about a, a grand marquee with Bogarts on the back, right? Hey, I'd be lazy, too. I mean, you, when you're riding in luxury, I, and even if you got the Bogarts for the front, I'd be like, if we don't need them, we don't need them. They, they've got a supercharger in that car? Hmm. I am intrigued. You have piqued my uh, interest. Yeah, I can dig it. The guy in the Elko is like, huh? What? Wait. Elko does get around him down there on the big end, but that thing left, boy. 1166 at 115 for Tim. Timothy Taylor in the O'Reilly lane, left side of the track. Right lane, 1348 at 68 miles an hour. Definitely off the loud panel and slow rolling. And the little ranger, she sets dirt nasty low. I can dig it. All right, we're getting him backed up. We're getting him moved over in, in the uh, in the gro groove just a little bit. So a little uh, S550 taking on the Ranger. Ranger did a little jiggle and then, uh, yeah, it left weird. Pling, 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 ricochet rabbit. Goes 1081 at 89 miles an hour. So that truck's got a lot left in it. Right lane goes 1045 at 108. Yeah, the leave on that thing, it, I thought it broke an axle or something. And Felicia Smith in the right lane, the four-door rocket. The first time I announced this car, I didn't even know, but it, yeah, by Felicia, obviously. She left her opponent hanging in the dust. Looks like it's got a, a different wrap on it than it had the last time I seen it. Yeah, it's a it's a it's got the matte finish this time. Taking on the beautiful Malibu in the left lane. Danny Cameron out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Oh, wheels up for the Cadillac. Oh, and problems just past the 60-foot cone, about 80-foot out. She clicks it off. And Danny Cameron goes 684 to the 8th. And out the back door, 1084 to 122 miles an hour. So Felicia guaranteed going to be back for another hit. background got the little 46 chevy lined up again i think that that little cutlass over there is one i've been waiting to see uh, that thing looked menacing sitting back there in the tech line this morning <laughs> little s10 blazer lined up over there have yet well there's our first motorcycle taker of the day i was gonna say yet to see a motorcycle today but he's back there lined up getting to see some uh 
some fresh faces with the tech line getting shorter and shorter. Over, I won't say overwhelmed, but we'll say overwhelmed. There was a, a great turnout this morning. We encourage you next year to get pre-registered and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that's the Cutlass I've been waiting on. It Without the front bumper, giant intercooler. Had, yep, had the slicks hanging off the little rack on the back there. The 46 Chevy truck just, just looks right. And it's got the full exhaust. I like that. But the Grande Mustang over there have been putting in work today. Brandon McElroy out of Lebanon, Missouri, taking on Doug Jensen again. In that O'Reilly Lane, left side of the track. 5.3 liters of LS power plant under the hood of that thing. Mustang bit off just a little bit too much, but still gets it gathered up and out in front of the truck. Got got the uh oh you're got the exhaust out in front. Definitely uh can be detrimental to your success with the timing system. Jack Crawford in the left lane back in the yacht one out of prior Oklahoma. One of my favorite cars in the whole wide world. Bumping in against Cody Nudwang out of Buffalo, Missouri. Again the yacht one Buffalo him. Oh little bit of smoke. And 626 to the eighth for the Yacht One. That's moving for a big old car like that. 1082 at 87 miles an hour. So definitely out of the gas early. And Cody Nudwang, how much did he pay for that name? 1202 at 84 miles an hour. Cody Carney in the left lane. Taking on Chris Wyatt in the S10 Blazer. And those do make good-looking race cars. And they, and they got the weight where they need them when you're doing uh, light prep, no prep, front-of-the-track races. So they'll roll in and uh, light the top bulb. Cody goes in and gets a piece of his bottom bulb, waiting on the S10 Blazer. Bumps in. Bang, there's the light. Camaro out for about 60 foot, and then the S10 drives around him. That thing is moving. Goes 595 to the 8th at 118. 941 out the back door to 125. Left lane goes 675 to the 8th. 1063 out the back door to 126. Views with Mike Lowry. Joplin, Missouri, the 1957 model. SBC blower, six speed, K and J chassis. Taking on the S5 or S197 Mustang, Brad Long out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Yeah, stick shift over there in the right lane. Got to love it. The third pedal crew. Oh, Mustang bumps through. I'm going to go ahead and send Kevin Lowry second gear. Goes 939 at 74 to the 8. And shuts the clocks off in the redemption lane. 1459 at 94 miles an hour. Going to give Brad Long another shot at the tree. Got the drag wing, the parachute, the bead locks. The front exit exhaust. Top bulb lit. Let's see if he can bump in just a little lighter this time. Yes, sir. And annihilates the tires.
motorcycle taker of the day, 1221, 120 miles an hour. And I think it's Jan Haas in the right lane. I believe is how you say that. I've met him. I've shook his hand. He's a great dude. Lincoln, Nebraska. His hometown in the right lane, the S10. And Richard Corteau out of Kansas, Oklahoma. In the 2000 Chevy. I'd say the S10 is a home-built hot rod, but I, I think... Every car out here this weekend is a home-built hot rod. That's what I love about these drag and drive events, especially this one. If you're sitting at home watching the live feed and you've ever wanted to do a drag and drive, I can tell you the circuit is a great one to uh, dip your foot in the water. We drive 300 miles this weekend, whereas some of the bigger drag and drives, you'll drive 300, 400 miles in a day. So definitely a great place to get get it acclimated to drag and drive and we want to see out here next year richard goes 1266 at 104 right lane jan goes 1202 at 110 this brings up malachi fox out of cold camp missouri the 05 vet looking like all the business taking on tom taylor and the corvette playing catch-up to the Nova, and it ain't going to have, didn't have enough mustard. <laughs> you already know my jokes. Unfair. Tom Taylor goes 1039. Goes 659 to the eight. All right, hard tire, hard tire at two o'clock. We're going to put you in lane two. That ought to be easy enough to remember. It's two o'clock. So lane two for hard tire, two o'clock, lane two for hard tire. So if you're in hard tire, come on down. You're the next contestant to lane two hard tire. The big Chevelle trying to get her gathered up, stay out in front of the OBS Chevy. It hurts my soul to say that, but I guess it is what it is. Right lane goes 749 to the eighth. Out the back door at 1131 at 124. That's fast for a pick -em up truck. Seventeen oh one, sixty one miles an hour for Danny Talman. Carter Snell again in the redemption lane, eleven thirty one, hundred and twenty four. Lionel Shaw taking on Jordan Shaw. I would almost think they're related, wouldn't you? The G8 going to get there first. 1219 and 111 in the right lane, that redemption lane, left lane, the O'Reilly side of the track, 1338 and 102. It's 2 o'clock. We're going to start sending those hard tire cars here shortly. We'll get them piled up in lane 2, hard tire. Already got them moving. This brings up Ellie Johnson in the right lane. Taking on Rich Van Allen. In the 03 Corvette. And one thing I love about being an announcer, BTS, behind the scenes. Lots of great talking. Todd Kitchen getting stuck to the stuck to the track. I lost my two man. Three bulbs lit. Ellie was deadly on the tree earlier. It was 196, not too shabby. Out in front of the Corvette. Grabbing gears. Ellie goes 764 to the eighth at 87. Out the back, 1206 with a nine, 112 miles an hour. Left lane goes 1205 at 115.
Bob Coding in the left lane out of Jeff City, Missouri. The 67 Camara, 427 cubic inches of small block Chevrolet. Had to move the tag over just a little bit so we get the trailer hitch on there. I like it. Taking on James Young out of Springfield, Missouri. In the green machine. And if you're here with us today, spectating, thank you each and every one of y'all for coming out to MoCan today for the Circuit Dragon Drive, presented by Summit Racing Equipment. Left lane rolls in, lights two bulbs. Wheels up for the Camara, but here comes the S-Dime. Looks like he's got him caught by the eighth, driving around him. They're together at the 1,000-foot. Left lane gets there first, though. Bob Cody in the O'Reilly lane goes 10.04 to 132. Right lane goes 10.17 to 104. And that's James Young in the redemption lane. Taking on what I like to call the Joe Dirt Camaro, the 83 model Z28, the 305 Crossfire, Midway Pro Auto Body, the sponsor for that machine. The Elko ripping and gripping. 1177, 114 miles an hour. Right lane, the redemption side of the track, 1620 at 82 miles an hour. F100. The bump side, as they call them now. Chad Maggard in the right lane, Springdale, Arkansas. Robert Catron in the left lane, going to get there first. O'Reilly side of the track, 1248, 108 miles an hour. Right lane, 1220 at 110. I mean, bump side, dent side, OBS, cat eye, all these new new names. They 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 make it hard on a fella. Felicia Smith back around again. Again, hard tire, hard tire, lane two, hard tire, lane two. It's two, and we're going to send hard tire out of lane two. The Grand Marquis back around with the Bogarts on the back. And Brian Acton out of Pearson, Michigan. 5.3 liters of... Uh, LS, J-Wire Solutions, Baker Engineering, Capizzi Auto. And Jonathan Capizzi, for a while, had the, the stock block LS record in that little white Mustang. Got a hand in this little Nova sitting on the left side of the track. And that car moves. 543 to the 8th, 128 miles an hour. Stops the clocks 850 with a 5, and I believe he's in that 850 index, I believe. So he improves on the 852, knocks it down to an 850 with a 5. So that'll be tough to beat. And Matthew Fling out of DeSoto, Kansas, in the 97 Grand Mark. Ford 4.6 liter under the hood with a Pro Charger. Good for a 1228 at 107. And how bad would that feel to be in your little Corvette riding around town and getting drug by a 97 Grand Mark with a trailer hitch on it? That'd be tough sledding, wouldn't it? So I want to thank our uh, presenting sponsor, Summit Racing Equipment, Molly Motorsports, 
on the spot auto repair, great apparel printing and design, JPM dyno tuning, R&D performance and fab, car chains 3D. A lot of these great sponsors helping out while it's quiet. I just kind of want to go over those guys and uh, thank the circuit for having me out here to have a good time for this deal. Again, these drag and drive events and, and again, for a charity are my favorite style of events. When you can help out children's or children's, we're helping out children's Haven of Southwest Missouri this year, looking to raise $7,500. So when you can have a drag and drive event and help out kids that have been abused or are in need, what, what could be better? So, uh, Again, great honor to be here and up in the tower having a good time this weekend. I hope everybody out here is having a good time. If you're just out here spectating, thank you very much. We will be back Sunday. Tomorrow we'll be racing at Ozark Raceway Park, ORP. Uh, my first time ever in the tower there. It's going to be a great deal. We went and seen some great races there and, and had several good times, but uh, get to actually get up in the tower there. So another bucket list track unlocked. Pretty cool. And uh, it we hope that you can follow us over there and, and uh, watch tomorrow's day of racing. If not, we definitely hope that you can be back out here Sunday. And you can check out the full and complete schedule of the Circuit Dragon Drive on their Facebook page. Or uh, what was the what was the WWW on that, babe? I know you had it. The website for today's event. The Circuit DND.com. That's where you can find the full and complete schedule. And again, Chris Story of Chris Story Photo said, tell him to pull the shoots. He's, he's down there on the big end looking for some of those parachute shots, and he will make you famous. So if you've got a fast car, like the Tracy Chapman song or somebody who just covered it, somebody just covered it, it's, a, it's absolute garbage. But uh, if you've got a fast car, pull them parachutes. Chris Story going to get, get you some parachute shots, make you famous. And again, all, all those uh, media guys out there, we got Chris Story Photo. He is the official photographer. Trackside Media, Andy and Bill down there, 3G uh, uh, Video, Jesse Fox, Chris Hogan, Fodad Media, Johnny Allen Photography. And I understand Johnny Allen, he's a youngster, and he comes out here and shoots at Mocan all, every weekend. So uh, check him out. These guys and gals, give him a like and a follow on your favorite social media. Photography by Chesney, a, a young lady that comes out and shoots a lot out here. Uh, Glad to have her on board. Go Fast Productions, Timothy Gorley. Gorley, I'll say it right by the end of the weekend, maybe. Martin Photography, Wendy Martin down there getting things done. Uh, Morrow Photography, Twisted Angle Garage, and Sean Melton, Urban Hillbilly. I'd almost bet that Sean is going to be in full effect at ORP, his home track. And uh, I've seen a lot of thrills and spills and all kinds of videos. You can check that out on uh, YouTube now. Used to have to buy those things on a DVD. Now he just posts them up on YouTube and isn't life great. So give those guys and gals a good like and follow. Don't forget the circuit booth on Push Road down there. You can get you some t-shirts, some swag, and uh, Mocan's merch booth. They're open down there if you'd like to get some uh, hoodies. It's a little chilly. I forgot to bring a jacket or any of that fun stuff. And uh, my girl, she usually ends up with any hoodie that I end up with. I, I get to wear it maybe once. And then somehow it miraculously disappears. So I have a feeling I'm going to end up with one of those, or she's going to end up with one of those this weekend. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for some tender vittles, something ice cold to drink, something warm to eat, Concesh is open over there on the pit side. And I'm going to give you another call for hard tire to lane two, hard tire to lane two. We got a little quick uh, pause for the cause, some sweep and drag action going on on the track right now. And then we will be back in effect shortly. So move around, win some friends, influence some people. What is it? Shake some babies and hug some. Yeah, shake babies and kiss hands out there. Still see some cars that I haven't seen make hits yet rolling through the pits. Making their way through uh, tech and, and racer registration. So again, we're going to run one lane of, of hard tire and, and the other lane will be radial and slick prep for about an hour. And then at three, roughly three, we'll go to a, a free for all.
who uh, you leave your wristband on for weeks after the event. But this is just a friendly for a reminder for uh, those of you that are not like us. Don't lose your wristband. You will need it to get back in Sunday. So keep that on your wrist or, or keep it with you. So keep your wristband. Again, boys and girls, keep your wristband. You will need it to get in Sunday. So again, thanks to all you amazing people out there in the grandstands. Good to see your bright, shiny faces out here on a Friday afternoon for the Circuit Dragon Drive presented by Summit Racing Equipment. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the quiet part out loud. Summit has gone to bat for all you racers and all the China parts out there. They made a recent post, uh, and they're destroying all their China parts. Uh, I'll let you go check them out on your favorite social media outlet and see what I'm talking about. but. It sounds like things are going back the other way for the hot rodders. They uh, they are starting to recognize that uh, sometimes, most all the time, a good deal ain't always a good deal on some of those China parts. And uh, they're the first ones in the industry to recognize that. And I, I want to thank Summit Racing Equipment. There's nothing worse than, than buying a part that's supposed to work and it doesn't work. And they ship you another part that's the same part and it doesn't work either. So they are breaking all of those parts in-house. They're destroying some of that junk so it'll never see the light of day they're not even sending it back to the manufacturer so check them out summit racing equipment they are uh they're start they're, well i'm not saying starting to do they they are doing some good work right now so go check them out on social media give them a like and a follow and uh follow along for the drama that's what i'm in for right And pay attention to the guy in the staging lanes. He will wave the hard tire cars into the lane they need to be in, slick and drag radial. They'll put you in the lane you need to be in. We did do a little bit of track prep on both lanes here. It looks like we're about ready to go back to racing. Got a line of cars both ways waiting to get down the track. And again, last year, there was a little bit of downtime in between cars and stuff. This year, um, a great turnout. Good to see all these cars showing up. And, and again, if you're out there watching, spectating in the stands or on the live feed, understand that this is one of the, one of the, the Dragon Drives that if you would like to get a feel for it or a taste for it, this is one of the best ones you could get into. 300 miles in three days, not 400 miles in a day. So it's not overwhelming. And these guys, they like to have a good time. Well, I say guys, as Felicia Smith pulls up in the right lane in the four-door rocket, guys and gals. And this thing last time left with the wheels up. She set it down and had some problems, but uh, they've went back. 
they've done a little bit of tuning on it, some bleep bloops. And keep your eyeballs on this little orange CTSV in the right lane. Got a plastic bag out there blowing around just a little bit. Not ideal in those uh, photo beams out there. The way this timing system or all timing systems kind of work, it's like a garage door. You know, you got the reflector on one side, you got a photo beam that shoots across. Anything that breaks that beam, your garage door stops or the timing starts. However you want to look at it, she rolls in, lights both bulbs, wheels up on the back pockets, and yeah, grabs the next gear successfully. And on the brakes down there, goes 570 at 119 to the eighth. Rolling out the back door, 941 at 110. That car, uh, she gets down. And here's the wagon version. This is the one I wanted. I wanted the blue wagon, which is rare as hen's teeth. And you, then you throw a six-speed into it, and that, that takes all that back down into another half. But I do like me some station wagons. Taking on the Nova, driven by Scott Cook in the left lane. Got Christopher Atkinson out of Perry, Oklahoma in the right lane. The 2012 CTSV wagon. A parachute on a station wagon. What's not the love? So high, hard tire car in the left lane. The wagon coming unglued about 70 foot, 80 foot out there. You want to bring her back around. 773 to the eighth. Still not, not, not too shabby. Rolling. And faster than my high school Mustang, 1343 at 74 miles an hour. This brings up uh, Mike Kimmis in the right lane, that beautiful Coyote Swap Fox body Mustang at 11 on Missouri, 89 model to be exact. And I can't get over the stainless steel pipes out the back. That's the stuff dreams are made of. The C4 Corvette, the 90 model to be exact. Eric Harrison in the left lane, Joplin, Missouri. 350 cubic inches of Chevrolet power. Starter pulling double duty. Chemist on the chip. They let her rip. Nice weight transfer. Goes 543 to the eighth. 849 with an eight out the back door. At 160 miles an hour. So looking for the 850. Goes 849. So close. 49 with an 8 on a 50. That stuff's sledding. Oh, locked up the back brakes on the rain guard. Little. Oh, this is a Mazda, huh? The B B2200, 25. Yeah, B2300. D depending on the engine, yes, sir. Out of Sedalia, Missouri. Taking on the big old station wagon. Nate Martin in the left lane out of Hutchinson, Kansas. Got the wood grain. Used to have a little donut shop up there in Hutchinson. And the pick-em-up truck goes 609 at 118 to the 8th. 1021 out the back door at 99. All those high school typing classes paying off, huh, Craig? Yep. Didn't go to high school. No. That sounds like a great problem to have. I graduated Mocan University. Wow. A lifer. Travis Wise in the left lane. The Cyclone. Cyclones are cool, but the Typhoon, I, I, I like those. Dustin Pedersen over there in the right lane getting the job done again. 1291 at 45 off the gas way early. Goes 668 at 101 to the eighth. Travis Wise, 1472 at 88. And again, you'll see our hard tire cars in the left lane, the O'Reilly side of the track. Over there in the right lane, we're still on slick and drag radial prep. These hard tire guys are doing us a solid and kind of lining up just a little bit out of the groove. And yeah, like I said, it probably works just a little bit better for them.
So Judy Stafford in the left lane goes 1757 at 76 miles an hour. Abby Larson in the right lane goes 1019 at 124. This brings up Red Bailey out of Magazine, Arkansas, the 55 Chevy, 427 cubic inches of big block Chevrolet. Jerry's Performance, the sponsor on that machine. And Mike Baker, right lane, the SN95. And I despised those cars when they came out. I was a Fox body guy through and through, and I just, I couldn't see it happening. Now I've seen a few of them. Uh, and as race cars, and I'm finally starting to accept them 20 something years later. He goes 1145 in that specimen at 84 miles an hour to the to the eighth goes 671 at 105, and Red Bailey goes 1380 at 95. Oh, yes, the Caprice was getting nasty. And how, how does that look to you in your Corvette? You're looking over and you're seeing a primered Caprice, nothing but tail lights. 1154 for Gary Ketch at 121. The Vet goes 1188 at 122. And that's, that's some tough sledding, folks. And they, they run pretty hard for what they are. The lemon yellow unit out of Cole Camp, Missouri. Building some boost. Bumping in. And bang. Let's her rip. Six forty nine of the eighth, and I'm sure he's gunning for the six fifty. Six forty nine with a five. Out the back door he goes ten eleven at 135. Left lane, the show car goes fourteen twenty two at a hundred. Six point six diesel, taking on Christopher Fetcher, Farmington, Arkansas, the twenty eighteen Mustang, Coyote powered S five fifty unit. I like me some goldish bronze rims. Good looking little hot rod. Getting a handle on that one. Goes 669 of the eighth at 111. Out the back door, 1018 at 143. Eighteen forty six for the pick 'em up truck at eighty six miles an hour. A little sixty seven Mustang over there in the right lane on them them Larry Hoovers. Got the Hoosiers out back. And another thing I love about drag and drive, trailer hitches. Taking on the purple Mopar, Norman Cornell in the left lane, taking on Chad Garut. Got the 438 Windsor. Looks like he's, is he dragging his muffler or is, Something in the Mustang goes uh, 1129 at 99 miles an hour for the Mustang. And left lane goes 1387 at 104. It's been an absolute amazing day of drag racing here out at Mocan Dragway. And I'd encourage you to go to all their social medias, give them a like and a follow. If you've never been here before, uh, they do things right here. They got all kinds of shows that 
I like to see. And they're good enough to let us come out here and uh, tear up their track on this Friday afternoon. Here's a great matchup. The 67 Firebird taking on the 69 Mustang. Mustang out front. 331 cubic inches under the hood of the Mustang. The big 400 Pontiac under the hood of the Firebird left lane. But the Mustang gets there first. 1280 at 106. Left lane goes 1359 at 103. Kylie Reynolds rolling up in the uh, Stormtrooper Corvette left side of the track. Zach Armstrong in the 78 Malibu out of Wardsville, Missouri. Mid-Missouri Muscle, the sponsor on that right side of the track, 6-liter LS. Out in front of the vet. Corvette driving around him down there. Gets there first, 1180 with a four at 123 miles an hour. Right lane off the loud pedal goes 1351 at 65. To the eighth, he goes 772 at 85 miles an hour. And again, I'm not reading off reaction times a lot unless it's really impressive because, well, in this type of competition, it just really doesn't matter. I know some of the drag and drive events, they say if you're over a certain amount of time in the in the reaction time, the pass don't count, and blah, blah, blah. I, here, not so much. It, yeah, and I mean, you don't want a, a missile coming up your rear end, you know, and it could happen. Like this little Mustang, Jonathan Shaw on the right, or I'm sorry, Malibu in, in the uh, right side goes 1069 at 101. And Emmanuel Rye, left side of the track, 1531 on the hard tires at 91 miles an hour. And, I mean, when they leave together and it's a race and you're kind of class racing, it it is pretty cool to watch them do the thing. Ooh, the Buick GS. Donnie Manor in the left lane. I like me some obscure Buicks. John Ketch in the right lane, the 76 Camaro out of Great Bend, Kansas. It looks fast. It's got the wing. It's got the pair to shoot. The Mickey Thompsons. Three bulbs lit. He bumps in with some boost. Let's go with a button. And uh, yeah, that's what that does. It was 144 to the 60. Eighth mile goes 627. And stops the clocks out the back. Goes 11 and 23 at 79 off the loud pedal. Left side of the track on the hard tires goes 1237. At 109. And I believe it's Uriah over there in the right lane. Yep, Uriah Kessner out of Choctaw, Oklahoma. Taking on Jim Baker out of Grove, Oklahoma, the 2003 GMC. Ooh, all right, small victories. Looks like we got everybody through tech for the moment. And the truck, just kind of checking out the lay of the land, it looks like. Meanwhile, Uriah Kester in the right side goes 1275 at 106. Jim Baker uh, spitting sunflower seeds into the cup holder and just kind of riding and guiding. Goes 2188 to the eighth mile at 22 miles an hour. And he looks like he might, yeah, like might time out. He wheel so jim baker not going to get a quarter mile time there Eighth at 104, out the back door, 12, 11 at 74 miles an hour. And Nick Chitwood out of Grain Valley, Missouri, the 2002 Trans Am, goes 12, 31, 110. And I wonder if he's any relation to the Joey Chitwood Thrill Show. 
I would like to think so. Bill Brown in the Durango. Goes 752 to the eighth, 1181 out the back. And Devin Cook goes 885 to the eighth and 1385 out the back door. Go see Miss Teresa at the uh, circuit uh, registration tent. Thank you very much. That armband on you or with you because you will need it for re entry on Sunday. Heidi Brown, another Durango out of Salisaw, Oklahoma. Taking on Shyler Cook at a Wyandotte, Oklahoma, in the 2010 Mustang. The Durango going to get there first, 12 12 at 99 miles an hour. And Shyler goes 14 69 at 94. Seventy seventy eight and seventy nine in the four door. He's running that U versus U class on a hard tire. It was nineteen ninety three at fifty three point nine eight miles an hour. Here comes the Hayabusa, or as my dad used to like to call him, the eye abuser. It's Pat Cook out of Harlingen, Texas, the 2018 model Hayabusa. And again, hard tire, hard tire, lane two, hard tire, lane two down there in the staging lanes. Kurt Chow. And Pat Cook stops the clocks 11.75 at 130 miles an hour. Here's the SN95 taking on the Trans Am. Yeah, in this high school all day long. Yeah, a little bit of a bamboozlement. Hard tire cage turbo in the left lane. Taking on the Mustang on a Hoosier over there in the right lane. Hoosier daddy, we'll find out here in a second. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be rough to get beat by a hard tire car? Building some boost. And somebody's smoking like a freight train coming back down the return road. <laughs> Looks like it might be Heidi Brown. 159 to the 60 foot on a hard tire. 817 to the 8th, but the Mustang gets there first. 1149 at 116. And out the back door, the little Trans Am goes 12. 18 at 117 miles an hour. Looks like Heidi Brown might have hurt the baby. Lewis Martin out of Cole Camp, Missouri, right side of the track, going to get there first. Goes 10 19, 122. William Farrell goes an 11 96 and 116 on the hard tire. Mustang, he's got the right idea. Moves over out of the groove just a little bit. We're all in. And there's the tree. 
The love truck goes 163 to the 60 foot. The Mustang right there with him on the hard tire. 776 to the right lane to the eighth. 1237 or 106 out the back for Lee Miller. And the left lane goes 1235 on the hard tire at 114. So if they'd have left together, that'd have been a heck of a drag race. Six. I would. I would. If, if that's what we've got for real, that would be an inline six. The Corvette over there in the right lane. Malachi Fox had a Cole Camp, Missouri, the 2005 model to be exact. Top bulbs lit. They go in together. Tree comes down and uh, the Corvette does the thing. I do think that the 250 might stand up with that that uh that type of movement. Or as the, or as the kids say, that type of action these days. <laughs> uh, tectonic. Goes in 1192 to the eighth for Scott Cook in the left lane with 256. 1872 out the back at 71. Right lane goes 1141 at 124. And if you ever seen any of those, uh, or the SDRA, the old dragsters, the the inline six deals, some of those old six cylinders move. Can't not saying they can't be made to to haul the mail. But this type of drag and drive event, it's a get in where you fit in type of deal. Really, the only requirement is that, that you have a good time. And if you're not having a good time, well, you know, you might want to look for a different sport. Judy Stafford in the left lane out of Tecumseh, Oklahoma, the 76 Chevy Malibu wagon, 350 cubic inches under the hood, says scary slow. I bet she doesn't time out before the other before the other car gets there. Kyle Hood doing a lot better in the Elko. His first pass was kind of sketch at best. Just keeps getting better and better. Goes 730 with a six to the eighth mile, 1188 with a six to the quarter and scary slow in the left lane goes seven six, 1769 at 76 but gets there before she times out red bailey in the 55 chevy out of magazine arkansas 427 cubic inches the big block chevrolet under the hood of that hot rod taking on sean larson in the 07 trailblazer ss and after i worked on a few of those i kind of got attracted to them at first, I was, I was a naysayer, to say the least. And Larson gets there first, eleven thirty six at one hundred nineteen. Left lane goes thirteen sixty at ninety seven on the hard tire. Nothing to sneeze at. Cutlass getting down. Left lane, 1563 at 91 miles an hour. Bob Myers. So 747 to the eighth, 1181 at 112 out the back door, 1372 at 103 for Norman Cornell in the 07 Charger. Yeah, it's got a Hemi in it. Kylie Reynolds, left side of the track, taking on Mitchell Presley out of Silver Lake, Kansas in the 81 Camaro, 350 cubic inches under the hood. Good looking car. I want I want the brown with the gold birthday cake stripes. That's or the yeah, I like the obscure, and I think with a set of those gold weld magnums on it, 
Ah, ah. But I'd take the blue, even with the blue painter's tape on the quarter panel. I'd, I'd rock it. Rhubarb, says the little Camaro, clearing its throat. Like I said, anytime there's a receiver hitch hanging off the back of your Camaro, winning. And again, that's Mitchell Presley taking on Kylie Reynolds. Reynolds over here in the Corvette, O'Reilly's side of the track. Got his top bulb lit, waiting patiently. Thank you for courtesy staging, sir. Top bulb's lit. And we're all in. There's the light. Little Camaro sneezing a little bit, maybe coughing a little bit, and getting driven around by the Corvette on hard tires. Corvette goes 1148 at 123. Right lane goes 1270 at 100 miles an hour. Boo, in the right lane, Eureka Springs. I'm up here talking. He goes 538 to the eighth at 132, 841 out the back door. And I love that car. He's scraped the wall with it, got it repainted, got the parachute out down there for the Chris Story photography. And uh, 1538 in the left lane at 90 miles an hour.
Bill Ellis in the right lane. And the little Camaro out of Yorkville, Illinois. Taking on Jim Baker. And that truck not picking up any. Somebody needs to whip out the HP tuners. Put a little bit more in it. 14-13 in the right lane for Bill Ellis. Small block Ford Mustang Redemption Motorsports Lane. We'll uh, back him up, give him another shot there. Fourteen oh seven ninety seven for the Mach One. So they let off the button of the little fox body in the right lane. Goes 988 at 130 miles an hour. John Paul Franks. This brings up Jason Hurley in the left lane out of Greeley, Colorado. Decent little trip across the country. Taking on Christina Kester out of Kessner out of Choctaw, Oklahoma. The 70 model duster. Good looking hot rod over there in the right lane. 340 cubic inches of mo power under the hood. Oh, wheel hop, and I think we just lost half the countryside underneath that car. She's dirty. You want to keep rocking out on the right lane with these uh, slick tire and drag radio cars. Holy wheel hop, Batman. And Jay. Colorado called and said they wanted their dirt back. And this brings up Dustin, Dustin Cottle on the right lane. Whoop, whoop. Over there on the 315 this weekend, Big Tyra. Out of Manford, Oklahoma, and the 78 model of Suzu Faster. Rolls in, building some boost. Bumps in gently. Let's go. Oh, a lot better hit. First time he added some wheel shake, some tire shake, but gets a hold of this one. Goes 577 to the eighth at 120, 936 at 118. Again, he's in that eighth mile unlimited class. So that 577, not too shabby for him. I like to see it.
the uh, starting line down there. And big news coming for Mocan this year. Going to be paving the pits. How cool is that? Every time I come here, they've done just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. So support your local drag strip. This is a good one to do. And a lot of people want to build a drag strip right in the middle of everything. I think these little tracks that are kind of on the edge of everything, um, they're a little bit better. They're, they're, uh, I don't know what it is about it. They just draw a different group of people and, and, uh, I don't know how, to, I don't know how to try to say what I'm trying to say, but on a Saturday night, there really ain't nothing better than a drag strip. And if you've got a local one and it's, and it's a cool one like this, come out and support it. They're making the track better for you. And Scott Cook, 1872 at 71 miles an hour. There's just so many ways to spend your entertainment dollar anymore. And, and um, when this is one of the better things to do, I, I like that. I like when uh, people get steered toward motorsports and motorsport accessories. The 55 gasser in the right lane, Fred Cullen. Out of Stennett, Texas. Goes 758 to the 8th at 90 miles an hour. And out the back door, 1199 at 111. Good looking Camaro. The right shade of blue for sure. Eddie Butler out of Wichita, Kansas. 1967 Camaro. 400 cubic inches of small block Chevrolet. Got the 400 under the hood, man. I'll tell you what. Slick tires and receiver hitches. Sounds like a great country song. Oh, man. Goes 144 to the 60. Eighth mile, 620 to 111. And out the back, 974 to 138. Yep, that's, that's what I consider a fast car. And people are like, What's a fast car to you? I'm like 10-0, 6-0 in the eighth, 10-0 in the quarter. That's uh, that's where all the safety equipment really starts getting next level and everything kind of starts turning the page. And a perfect street car runs somewhere in the bottom sixes and 10-0 in the quarter, hard to complain about. And Eddie Butler's little Camaro from Wichita does all that. And here's the Hayabusa. Pat Cook. Another Texas entry. Goes 830 at 101 to the eighth. 1205 at 131 out the back door. And already got that mess in the left lane cleaned up. Hitting her with a little bit of sticky juice. And this brings up Bob Coding out of Jeff City, Missouri. The 67 Camaro. 427 cubic inches of small block. Ultimate Converter Concepts. The sponsor on that machine. Papa Wheelie showed up. 632 to the 8th at 106. 1005 at 131. And to me, that's a fast street car. The Big Bad Hemi, Sharma Hardy. Sharma out of Miami, Oklahoma. Or Miami. I'm from Oklahoma and I didn't say that right. I know better. This is an impressive little hot rod. Swing by and check it out. It looks good. It runs good. It's got a young lady behind the wheel. What's not to love about it? Goes 675 to the eighth at 112. 1022 at 140.
And right lane goes 1479 at 96 miles an hour. Left lane, 1565 at 90 mile an hour for tons of fun. Probably about two tons at least. And Norman Cornell, Golden City, Missouri. The 2007 Charger SRT8. And Troy Santer in the right lane. The blue with the titanium on the bottom. That's If I was going to have a GT, that's the color combo. 1383 at 106. 1417 at 102 for the Charger in the left lane. left lane i'm nate martin in the long roof and jake johnson out on him in the right lane and that coyote swap s197 out of owasso oklahoma so he and his wife are racing this weekend. 1276 for the little Mustang. 1437 for Hutchison. Or uh, I'm sorry, for Nate Martin out of Hutchison, Kansas. So again, the 4.6 liter Pro Charger car over there in the right lane. Yeah, the Grand Mark. Taking on Daryl Cole in the left lane out of Boonville, Arkansas. 427 and when i say taking on this isn't a heads up race some of these guys uh you you don't we really don't know what class they're racing or or, or what they're competing for got the little baby wheelie out of the uh grand mark way out in front of the corvette so that looks closer to the pass they were looking for matthew fling goes 1243 at 107 Parkson bumps in. Oh, nice pass. To the eighth mile goes 530 with a two at 135. Yep, he's running the 275 eighth mile class. Jim Parks in there. Rolls to an 844 to 135. Nick Chitwood goes 1286 at 110. The 67 Ford Falcon, kind of the odd rod, taking on the uh, 70 model F100, driven by Chad Maggard in the right lane. Left lane, you got Clay Owens. And the, the bump side in the right lane with 6 liter LS goes 1122 at 120. Left lane, slow roll into a 1455 at 69. And this brings up Mike Chemis again in that beautiful coyote swapped hot rod in the right lane.
Three bobs lit. We're all in. There's the light. Oh, Chemist gets it swapped up. Noses it into the wall. We throw the reds and uh, everybody, please clear the starting line. We're going to have some safety equipment and safety vehicles coming through. Don't know if something got under his tire, if it didn't really look like a broken axle. Maybe some fluid or some something. Chemist has the window down. He's not out of the car. They're going to take a look at it. And they're looking under the car like there might have been something underneath it. I don't know. The door comes open. No? Nope. Still in the car. So the suspension not hurt. They're going to go ahead and ease it off the big end about the time the amber lamps gets there. Go back to the pits and uh, put some eyeballs on that machine. And I hate to see that, but it uh, looks like hopefully it's just cosmetic damage. are secured down here on the wall and uh we'll be back to racing as soon as possible perfect time to run over and grab some ice cold drink something warm to eat maybe some of that mocan swag down here below the tower if you're looking for a hoodie or a t-shirt and heads up guys we got the tractor coming your way boys and girls So while we're doing a cleanup on aisle one, I want to thank our sponsors. Again, presenting sponsors, Summit Racing Equipment. Molly Motorsports down there. They brought a tent. They brought their pistons. They bought piston rings. If you're looking for a new setup, swing down there and check them out straight from the horse's mouth. Our live stream sponsor, On the Spot Auto Repair. Our scavenger hunt sponsor, Great Apparel and Printing. And, and I keep talking about this scavenger hunt. Last year, it I feel like when I say it got out of hand, that's a bad thing. It's not. It it was very competitive, very fun, and it was. Uh, I feel like it was one of the things that makes the circuit drag and drive special. Like I don't know how many other people do that, but their their scavenger hunt 
was pretty amazing last year. So uh, basically the checklist they'll be given out after the passes are submitted on Saturday. And uh, I look forward to that. That being, again, brought to you by Great Apparel and Printing and Design. And, and, and. Our stick shift class being brought to you by JPM Dyno Tuning. The 650 Index, R&D Performance and Fab. You versus You brought to you by Car Chains 3D. The Street Race Power Adder brought to you by Molly Motorsports. Our specialty trophies. Again, first broke trophy, send it, race media. The biggest wheelie being brought to you by Four Eye Performance and Johnny Allen Photographer. Photography. The slowest average ET brought to you by Stone Cipher Family Racing. And maybe that's what the little GMC pick em ups going for. But if you time out, it doesn't count. Like, you know, that's that's on you. But I can see them shooting for that that uh Stone Cipher Family Racing class win of slowest average ET. The Young Gun Award being brought to you by Max and Racing. The media class brought to you by Olive Branch Acres, fastest truck by Revved Up Laser Works, and the charity this year, Children's Haven of Southwest Missouri. And again, we're looking to raise seventy-five hundred dollars for them, and uh, I'm sure we'll get there. In the last, uh, I can't remember how many years they've raised over sixty thousand dollars, basically for children's charities, and and, and uh, that's something great when you can give back to kids that are less fortunate. Than, than others, uh, always a great, great charity that, to, to uh, contribute to. Looks like we're about ready to rock and roll. Again, that hard tire class over there in lane two. Everyone else over here in the other lanes. And at roughly 3 o'clock, well, it's 3.15, so we'll hold, we'll hold them up for a minute. And again, racers, I don't know if Chris is still down there doing the the, uh, the parachute uh, photography, but if so, throw your parachute. He'll uh, make you famous, maybe. Well, definitely. It'll be a great pick. Also, when you turn in your time slips, make sure you have the routes. Make sure you get your directions. You don't want to just take off all willy-nilly halfway across the country, traipsing down through there. We kind of want to see some uh, photo ops. Make sure, like, make sure you take pictures. And when you take those pictures, make make sure you tag the circuit drag and drive. You know all the pages. You've been following along. Tag us. Make sure we can see those. That's one of my favorite things after the events is to always go back. I didn't know you could you could uh, actually follow hashtags, and you, you can you can save hashtags and follow them on your favorite social media outlets. So. Again, tag us the circuit drag and drive so we can go back and look at these pictures. It, it makes Monday morning when you're licking your wounds and you're like, oh, my gosh, we've been all over everywhere. We've done this and that, and, and we've hosted this, and we've done that. It makes all of this worthwhile. There's no amount of money. There's no amount of any of that. But looking back at those pictures, to me, that's what makes it worthwhile. And again, your armbands, the pink and gray, your driver and co-pilot wristbands, you will need those to get into Ozark, and you will also need those to get back in Sunday here. So don't don't forget, don't uh, don't have to pay again to get back into a race you've already paid to get into. you will turn those in tomorrow with your time slip so we'll want to see those and again i would love for you to just tag us on facebook and show us to show us them there but officially like a referee's whistle you will have to show them tomorrow when you turn in your time slips and then sunday again as well so make sure you play by the rules this is one of the i'll say the most lax drag and drive style events like it, it they want you to follow the rules, but they're not going to hold your feet to the fire. Um, but but definitely play by the rules. If you miss a turn, like Mike said in the, in the driver's meeting, you don't have to drive 147 miles back the other way to get back on the route. Just 
make sure you do what you need to do. And now we got cars going back down the track. Josh Miller in the right lane, Talala, Oklahoma, and the 71 C10, 548 cubic inches of big block Chevrolet goes uh, 1591 at 72. I'm sure he'll be right back in the lanes. Left lane goes 1624. But again, make sure you take your pictures at all those checkpoints. Before you leave, make sure that you've turned in your time slips and you do have your, your route. And you'll just bring your phone in and, and show it to us. We'll, we'll check them out and down there at race for registration. And again, that will be when you turn in your time slips at the end of the day tomorrow and Sunday. Christopher Atkinson strikes the tires, gets gathered up, and uh, flicks it off just down there. It goes 1189 at 95 miles an hour. That would be amazing to have a car that, that moves like that. Left lane goes 1866 at 71 miles an hour. Looks like he might be in uh, contention for that Stone Cypher family racing slowest average ET. Little streetcar in the left lane on the hard tire, getting out on Tyler Jensen in the right lane. Can he suck him up in the Chevelle? It ain't going to happen, boys and girls. Nick Chitwood going to get there. No. Jensen drives around him on the big end right at the last minute. 1165 at 114. Left lane goes 1226 at 111. And that's what reaction time will do for you, boys and girls. Again, this deal, uh, reaction time's cool and everything, but not a heads up race unless unless it's a grudge race so a lot of this is just single passes let it happen Emil Cloma in the 82 Malibu wagon 835 at 83 at the, to the 8 1306 at 104 out the back door and left lane goes 15.29 at 91 miles an hour. Emmanuel Rye out of Springfield, Missouri in that 2012 F-150. Bill Ellis in the right lane out of Yorkville, Illinois, the 2015 Camaro gets treed and more dust out of the 66 Cornette. Jason Hurley and Roxanne Hurley co-driving on that deal. Lane two, lane two for hard tire, lane two for hard tire. If you are a hard tire car and you're looking to get down, come on down. You're the next contestant at the Circuit Dragon Drive. And looks like the little cornet's done for the day. We ain't looking for dusty roads. Get a leaf blower on it or something, knock some of them uh, cobwebs out of it. 
Looks like a top sportsman Camaro rolling up in the lanes down there with all the colors. Like Rainbow Bright got sick on it. I love it. Making the trip from St to Stillwell, Kansas in the 85 Monte Carlo SS. Rolling through the hood in the Super Sport. Good looking car. He said it didn't run hard. Boy, 171 to the six, or I'm sorry, 163 to the 60 foot. 742 to the eighth. That's nothing to sneeze at, Mr. Brandon Kelsey. 1162 at 117. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, I can't remember what movie that's from. Chad Garut, the 67 Mustang, goes 688 to the 8th at 100 miles an hour, 1091 at 109 out the back door. The S550 Mustang, if I wasn't buying a brand new F-150, it'd probably be one of those. Aaron Roberts. Already have the first broke. If you broke something that's inside oil or inside parts on the outside before 2:30, I know it's 3:30 now. But if you broke something before 2:30 that you feel like might qualify for first broke, come down and see us at Racer Registration. And again, if you broke something, you have inside parts on the outside parts. Come see us. At racer registration, I think that the young lady that might have won first broke is standing down there on the starting line. It looked like a head gasket. Not sure, but it was definitely James Bond smoke screen. There was definitely fluids on the outside that should have been on the inside. So if you broke something before 2.30 that you feel like might qualify for first broke, come see us at racer registration.
So he goes 11.63 at 116 miles an hour. We got some Tims and some Tom Taylors. Tom Taylor was one of my favorite illustrators as a kid. Custom painters. Tim Taylor, obviously the tool man. I mean, golly, who didn't like him? Good looking two tone Chevy Nova over there in the right lane. Gary Andres out of Jeff City, Missouri. Big block Chevrolet under the hood. Not a bad little lick. The 83 model, Nico out of Greeley, Colorado, 6-liter LS. Got him a handful with that little 70 Cougar in the right lane. Corn Husker, they call it the Corn Husker Cougar. Prime concrete placement, the sponsor. It pops the wheelie that does the thing. Got it calmed down. And Nico right there with him. Getting him some of this good Missouri air. Not on a mountain somewhere trying to race. Goes in 1134 at 93 miles an hour. To the eighth, he goes 703. Right lane goes 691 to the eighth. 1216 out the back door. And you just really wouldn't think that elevation and all that stuff is that big of a deal. But you watch these guys when they go up on the mountain and try to run. Everybody's scrambling, trying to find them a little sneaky peat set up or some sort of nitrous to get their turbos to spool. Heavy breathing ensues. Donnie Manor in the 69 Buick GS, 455 cubic inches of Buick power. What's not to like about that hot rod? What was it, the factory appearing stock drags or what, what was the fast cars? Those things, man, talk about heavy breathing. Stock tire. Stock tire, okay. There's like a 67 Corvette that runs bottom nines that just blows my mind. We got William Farrell over there in the right lane, the Mopar. And the Buick showing him the way. Luxury sport. But William Farrell drives around him down there on the big end, goes 12.29. Donnie Manor's faster, 12.27. That was all reaction time right there. Margin of victory, 47 thousandths. Not that it matters in a drag and drive, but good race. C.J. Phillips in the Nova on the big tires. Looks like about a 315 drag radial. And Eric Kuhn. Made it through the burnout, backing it up. And time is winding down on him to get his passes that he's happy with. It's 331. We're going to run until about 5 o'clock is what I'm told. So another two and a half hours. Or hour and a half, I'm sorry. Small town math. Who's counting, right? 
Eleven teen. I like the review mirror in the tower. <laughs> So we're going to get to see the old 55 letter rip. On the chip, would like to hear that. Nice little weight transfer, good pass. Goes 132 to the 60 foot, 555 to the 8th at 136, and out the back door, 928 at 100 miles an hour. Left lane, 1107 at 106. The 67 Camaro, Kim Keith in the right lane out of Ash Grove, Missouri. 327 cubic inch, small block, I'm assuming. The loft at Keith Farms, wedding venue, is the sponsor on that machine. This is like 1997 all over, man. You got the good looking Chevelle, or the, I'm sorry, 66 Buick Skylark in the left lane out of Bunker Hill, Illinois. And the 67 Camaro. Got them 99 jets square in her. <laughs> the 470 Buick over there in the left lane putting in work. Goes 1203 at 111. Another Timothy Taylor out of Magazine, Arkansas, the 68 Nova, 565 cubic inches of the big block Chevrolet. Jerry's Performance, the sponsor. John Ketch in the left lane out of Great Bend, Kansas, the 1976 Camaro, 400 cubic inch small block. She's nasty. Rowing through the gears in the right lane. Trying to play catch up. I'm not going to do the mustard part. We're good. 954 to 145 for the Camaro. And they're both making the turn off the big end. On Haas in the left lane. 12 0 0 with a three at 111 for the S10 out of Lincoln, Nebraska, on the left side of the track. 1385 at 83 miles an hour for the little turbo four cylinder stuffed in the 72 midget. So the 83 Camaro, Z28 in the right lane. Todd Schoen out of Vienna, Missouri. Taking on Chris White out of Ashgrove, Missouri. The 89 S10 Blazer. Good looking hot rod. And she runs like a snotty nose, boys and girls. Yes, sir. Stops the clocks 884 to 132 miles an hour. And who to thunk it, right? Todd gets there, 1622 at 82 miles an hour in the, in the uh, Camaro. And here comes the Combine. It's not much, but it's honest work. Jesse Matafari in the left lane out of Sky 2, Oklahoma. The 76 John Deere, 7520. 496 cubic inches of Molly Pistons. Fred Fox in the right lane, the 77 Mercury Comet. 
not to be confused with the Maverick. There, 1255, 105 mile an hour in the combine. Right lane goes 1558 at 89 miles an hour. And keep your eyeballs on this little CTSV in the right lane. She hikes the tires up about three foot, gets on the back pockets, and does the thing. And Michael Fleeing in the big Mach 1. My dad had one with the louvers and all that fun stuff when I was a little kid in the yellow. I, I prefer the black over the yellow. So the C4 Corvette, Eric Harrison over there in the right lane out of Joplin, Missouri. Taking on Shiler Cook out of Wyandotte, Oklahoma, the 2010 Mustang GT with 4.6 liter under the hood. This is going to wind up a lot closer than what it needs to be. The Corvette hanging with the Mustang. On the brakes early down there goes 1430 at 98 miles an hour. And don't forget to get your directions when you turn in your slips. It sure would be nice to know where you're going, wouldn't it? Emmanuel Rye in the pick -em up truck left side of the track. Nick Chitwood in the Trans Am. Checking out on the pick -em up truck as he should. Right lane goes 785 at 89 miles an hour to the uh, 8th, 1225 at 112 out the back. And again, I think we got our first broke, but if you broke something before 230, inside parts on the outside, let us know at racer registration. And again, that first broke trophy brought to you by Send It Race Media. John Perkins on the left side of the track, the 06 Pontiac GTO. Taking on Chuck Jensen out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. That's a heck of a drive from Cheyenne, Wyoming. I like the little long bed. 66 Chevy C10. 330, 383 cubic inches. John Perkins gets there first, 1106 at 96 miles an hour. The long bed pick him up truck goes 1276 at 107. Penny Cameron out of Magazine, Arkansas on the 79 Malibu, 380 cubic inches of LS. Jerry's Performance Machine, the sponsor on that hot rod. Dustin Cottle. My homie in the 78 Isuzu Faster. Don't call it a love. Oh, nice. Got her settled down. Goes 135 to the 60 foot. 573 to the 8th at 121. 900 with a 1 at 142 off the back. Left side of the track. Goes 691 to the 8th and 1093 out the back at 122. 
beautiful GMC sitting on the right side of the track. Got the conventional small block Chevy under the hood, 388 cubic inches. Taking on the that's Dakota Merritt, another Cheyenne, Wyoming truck. And Zach Armstrong, left side of the track in the Malibu. Great race going down the track. Door handle, door handle at the eighth. The right side has a slight advantage. Going to hold it out the back door, 1241. And left side gets out of it. Goes 1438 at 59. And Chris Padgett. And catch up. Chris Padgett gathers it up, goes 10 07 with a nine to the quarter mile. And Uriah Kessner goes 12 61 at 107. For an aeromotive pump or an aeromotive filter, I'm sorry. So if you have a 10 micron aeromotive filter insert, we would uh, we would love that. You can either bring it to the uh, I'm in the black Mustang at the eighth mile. In the in the black Mustang, the twin turbo black Mustang at the eighth mile. If you have a ten micron filter element for an aeromotive filter, we would love love it. And if you don't, if you can't find him, take the racer registration. Oklahoma, the 85 Olds. Mahardy goes 965 at 143 in the right lane, 621 to the eighth. Smith Brothers Push Rods, the sponsor on that machine, 440 cubic inches of Mopar, Mo Power under the hood. So Devin Cook out of Indy, Kansas, the little S10, moves over to the left side of the track. So the 83-4i Mustang. Urged on by six-liter LS power. The diehard Ford guys will say that the, the Chevrolet guys stole their... They took our motor. They took our gerb. Well, you know, I mean, they they did make it better. So Nico, Greeley, Colorado, goes 11-23 at 112.
It is a Manuel. I do. I do love me some three three pedals. Uh, I don't like dirt though. So BJ Bax out of Henley, Missouri in the 85 Cutlass. 403 cubic inches of LS power and three pedals. I love it. Yes, sir. The man pedal. It requires a driver mod to have one of those. Sounds, oh, yep. I do like this car right here. The little Cougar. All right, now we uh, now we can send them. We got Dustin Peterson in the, or Pedersen in the right lane out of Lincoln, Nebraska, and I can dig this little hot rod, the Corn Husker Cougar seventy model. It runs pretty hard for what it is. One forty seven to the sixty foot, six forty one to the eight. LS twenty four X crank sensor. We got a racer in need. LS twenty four X crank sensor. And where yet? The white enclosed trailer over there, kinda about the 80 foot or 100 foot on the right side of the track, that white enclosed trailer. Black Trans Am. If you've got a 24X crank sensor and you can hook a man up, go see that black Trans Am and uh, he'd love you for it. Even if it's used, he'll be forever grateful. Thank you guys. And Brad Armstrong goes down 1147 at 117 miles an hour. And this brings up Fred Fox in the Mercury Comet. She runs out first gear all the way to about the 330. Got the 351 winds run to the hood. Goes 1054 to the eighth at 69 miles an hour. Grabs another gear. Goes 1615 at 86. Very unsuspecting Grand Marquis with the trailer hitch, the Bogarts, the 4.6 liter with the Pro Charger. Goes 173 to the 60 foot. 
And 785 to the eighth mile. And out the back door goes 1245 at 107. slips tomorrow make sure you have them on your phone it helps and uh make sure you hold on to your armbands you'll need those to get into ozark and you'll also need those to get in back here on sunday evening or sunday morning i'm sorry yeah we whenever you get here you'll need those to get in the nova out on the 67 Falcon. Clay Owens in the right lane in the Falcon. Jerry Andres in the left lane in the 70 model. Nova out of Jefferson City, Missouri. Or as everybody I know lives up by there, it's Jeff City. That's just, just what it is. Shyler Cook in the left lane out of Wyandotte, Oklahoma. The 2010 model Mustang, 4.6 liter. And the Mopar in the right lane, driven by William Farrell out of Junction, Junction City, Kansas. Right lane goes 12.02 at 118 miles an hour. Shyler Cook in the left lane goes 1441 at 94. And Emmanuel Rye in the left lane, the 504 Ford F-150. Right lane goes 1266 at 103, left lane 1548 at 90. Hey, if anybody wants to do Mocan a favor that's headed to Galena after leaving here, uh, we've got some stuff that needs to go to Gearhead Curios. Uh, just some flyers and poster schedules to drop off to Aaron down there. He'd be happy to see you, and he'd be happy to get them from you, and we'd be happy if you took them to him for us. Brandon Kelsey in the left lane, the 85 Monte Carlo SS. Got the six liter under the hood. And the wagon still having problems out there about 60 or 80 foot, but stays in front of the, the uh, Super Sport. So Christopher Atkinson going to get there first. 1142 at 95 miles an hour in left lane. Brandon Kelsey goes 1311 at 80. And the little 55 wagon knocks the tires. The Mustang, out like a fat kid in dodgeball, goes 137 to the 60 foot, 613 to the eighth, 97 or 971 to the quarter. And Chris Padgett goes 1001 at 149. So we do have the side mission to gearheads taken care of.
Mitchell Presley in the left lane out of Silver Lake, Kansas, the 81 model Camaro. Got the conventional small block under the hood. Eric Kuhn looking for his second hit in the 55 Chevy on the right side. Leaves soft, brings in the power, and left before the tree was activated, so all of that was for naught. But we're getting data. I'm sure they can take it back, and uh, with all the everything they've had going on throughout the day, um, that will be a welcome hit to actually get some clean data. And they do have time to come back and get another hit, so no harm, no foul. We're going to be running for about another hour. Mitchell Presley in the left lane. The O'Reilly side of the track goes 12.56 at 105. time today shelby wears over there in the right lane the 89 model mustang out of newton uh, newton kansas coyote swap those coyotes they wily top bulbs lit she bumps in first he's right behind her bang there's the light oh she knocks the tires that car has been leaving with the wheels about two or three foot up in the air throughout the day. Not the pass they were looking for right there. Shelby goes 1146 in the right lane in that little Coyote Swap Mustang. The 70 Duster in the right lane. The 67 Firebird in the left lane. Take a picture, make it black and white, and be amazed. Oh, fuel coming out of the back of the Firebird. Don Gold in the left lane. Goes 752 to the 8th. Out the back, 1185 at 110. Christina Kessner goes 1348 at 101. Brandon Kelsey back again in the 85 Super Sport. Jerry Andres in the right lane, the 70 model Nova out of Jeff City, Missouri. I feel like one of the cool kids when I say that. Big block Chevrolet in the right lane, six liter LS in the left lane. Clean car. It do, do, do the G body shovel. On the tranny break, let's go with a button. And the big block Nova going to get there first, 11.68. The G-body in the left lane goes 12.18 at 112. And Rhubarb, says the little Camaro, 400 cubic inches of small block. Eddie Butler out of Wichita, Kansas in the O'Reilly lane. Tim Taylor in the right lane out of Havana, Arkansas, the 82 El Camino, sponsored by Jerry's Performance in the Redemption Lane, right side of the track. Three bulbs lit, waiting on the Elko. He's in. There's the light. Oh, and we got some smoke in the left side. Everybody running with their fire extinguishers. Looks like he might have snuffed it out.
It did. It just poofed real big. I've never seen gray smoke like that. I've I've never I've never witnessed that before, and I've seen some things. The six liter under the hood. Go 713 at 99 miles an hour to the eighth. 1125 out the back door at 105. John Perkins out of Douglas, Kansas, right side of the track in the GTO gets down, goes 11, 12 at 90 miles an hour off the loud pedal, goes 660 to the eighth at 104. Nico Christofari in the left lane out of Greeley, Colorado in the six liter Mustang goes 1096 at 118. Oh, easy there. Them Spurs was jingling and jangling. It's Eli Gold. Goes 948 to the eighth and 1406 out the back door. Does he still have the pillow top seats in the Cutlass? That's what I want to know. Nothing like going fast in luxury. BJ backs out of Henley Collar or Missouri, 85 Cutlass, 403 cubic inches of LS power. Oh, wheel hop. Some more of the dirt. Next year, um, I would like to encourage everybody and anybody to go ahead and uh, hose down the bottom of their cars before they come out here and try to race. Try to get all that dirt knocked loose. Maybe break, break out the leaf blower. Just saying's all.
Model the <laughs> seventy model GMC C fifteen hundred stops the clocks at twelve forty at one hundred and six miles an hour. We get involved up here on a side mission, start talking about other things, and I forget to do my job. So the twenty twenty one Mach one back at it again. Knocked the tires pretty hard the last time. Street car, 91 miles an hour, goes 1249 out the back at 116. We're whittling down through the line. We got about, we got about an hour, 40, 50 minutes, you might call it. Devin Cook out of Indy, Kansas, a little less 10, 327 cubic inches, a small block. Tree comes down. Nine thirty-two at seventy-seven to the eight. And 1438 at 96 miles an hour out the back door in that O'Reilly's lane. Stage and lanes are wide open. Yeah. This is Tom Bodet. Yeah, a lot of my humor gets lost on people that are younger than me. I'm glad that I'm kind of hanging out with some people that are of the similar age this weekend. Sean Slaybaugh looks like he got him a crank sensor and headed in the right direction. Good to see racers helping other racers. Goes 664 to the eighth at 128 after knocking the tire. Goes 1017 129 off the back. And the Mach 1 is back. Going to move him over, get him some of that fresh glue. There's some strategery that goes into it. It's not just all do a smoky burnout and pull up and let it eat. Got him a piece of that one, 
Todd Schoen from Vienna, Missouri. Goes 1604, 83 miles Danny Odom down there in the snakeskin green 2011 Dodge Challenger out of Tecumseh, Kansas. Pretty solid little pass right there. Goes 695 to the eighth at 106, uh, 1063 at 135 out the back door. John Perkins, back again in the GTO. This thing runs pretty hard. Yep, it does the thing. Goes 154 to the 60 foot, 662 to the 8th at 103. And slow rolling at 1126 at 90. All right, boys and girls, get your cameras out. One more again for Felicia Smith out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. She's doing great things down there at Thunder Valley Raceway Park. She puts together a lot of private track rentals for her and all our race car buddies. She just likes to do race car stuff with all our race car friends, and it's pretty cool. She is definitely one of the more positive sides of our sport, and her car pops wheelies. up goes 573 to the eighth at 119 last call for merch last call for merch if you're looking for that circuit drag and drive merch this is your last call down there at the circuit trailer C.J. Phillips out of Lamont, Missouri, the 69 Nova. And 1045 at 125. Again, last call for that circuit merch for the afternoon. If you're looking to get you some of that sweet action, run down there to racer registration where you got all your credentials this morning and uh, pick you up some of them goods.
So John Paul Franks out of Pendleton, Indiana. Three hundred ninety-six cubic inches of small block forward, nine sixty-eight with a three at one hundred thirty-seven. I'm assuming nitrous is what it kind of sounded like. Yeah. Chris Padgett back again out of Alden, Kansas. This car was one of my favorites last year for sure. Got him a solid piece of it. Well, he just made a photographer happy. 934 to 146 miles an hour. We need a Holly three bar, four bar, five bar, what anything you got. If you've got a Holly map sensor, we need one. We got a racer in need. Mike Baker. What car? Black 95 Mustang. By the 10 over here. So if you've got a Holly map sensor, he could definitely use it. Black Mustang. Go find him. Hopefully you can get him hooked up before everybody cuts out. I think we've helped everybody that needed help so far. So, I mean, the odds are in your favor, sir. And there might be another round of races coming in for
The time is 427. We've got about 33 minutes left. If you'd like to make a hit, guess what? The staging lanes, they're wide open, boys and girls. It's time to rip out the brake pedal and bring them to the lanes. C.J. Phillips back in the 69 Nova. Solid lick. Sounds like it's breaking up just a little bit. Left good. Goes 1063 to 122. Sounded like it was laboring just a little bit. Eddie Butler, out of Wichita, Kansas, the 67 Camaro, 400 cubic inches of small block Chevrolet. Rhubarb. R rhubarb. Had him a nice little uh, nitrous backfire or something of the likes last time he come around. Got it figured out. Nice. Got the wheel speed. Stays in it. Goes 622 to the eighth at 111. Out the back door, 976 at 138. Almost 139. So while it's quiet, again, I would like to I would like to thank our presenting sponsor, Summit Racing Equipment. Again, if you don't already, go to their, their Facebook page, all your favorite social media. Give them a like. Give them a follow. I know you didn't hear about them through the circuit, Drag and Drive, but drop a line. Let them know that uh, we represented their country com company well and uh, give them some feedback. Molly Motorsports, they're here this weekend. They're going to be here all weekend. Check them out. You can swing by their booth and uh, get some info on all of their great parts. The live stream, on the spot, auto repair. Thank you guys for helping making that possible. The scavenger hunt, great apparel, printing, and design helping out with that deal. Stick shift class, JPM Auto Dyno and Tuning. 650 Index being brought to you by R&D Performance and Fab. You versus you. And that's a great class. Basically, you come out here, you run your passes, you turn in your slip. We set the dial off of your fastest time, and um, that's what you got to run all weekend. Street Race Power Outer, brought to you by Molly Motorsports. And the first broke trophy, I think we've already found the winner of that deal. Currently, it's Seth Pennington. He broke at 115 this afternoon. The biggest wheelie, four-eyed performance, and Johnny Allen photography. And right now, it's either the gasser or Felicia, I would think. I don't know. Again, I'm not the judge of any of this stuff. Just kind of saying what I see from the tower. The slowest average 
brought to you by the Stone Cipher Family Racing Group. Young Gun brought to you by Maxon Racing. Media Class by Olive Branch Acres. Fastest Truck by Revved Up Laser Works. Boy, I almost want to thank you. Does the Blazer count as a truck? I don't know. It ran pretty hard. I don't think I've seen this thing. There's another wagon that looks like that that uh, doesn't, no, doesn't sound as violent as that one. I think this is the first lick for this hot rod. Austin Clark in the left lane out of Glen Elder, Kansas with the 5.3 with the Nagasaki war whistle under the hood. Lack of hood. When all that awesome flows out of the lack of the hood. Bumping in. It's got to feel fun bumping in, in a station wagon. Building the boost. Slides his foot off that big pedal and onto the skinny pedal. Having some problems down there about the 330. 1178 at 111 for the right lane, William Farrell. 1611 at 60 mile an hour for the uh, 88 Buick. And Glenn Elder apparently is right down the road from the largest ball of twine, world's largest. Cans the 98 Mustang with Coyote Swap. Goes 724 to the 8th at 94 miles an hour. 1141 117 out the back door in that redemption lane. Right side of the track.
Austin Clark back around in the turbocharged 88 Buick Estate Wagon. Johnny, Johnny, your dad is here. Johnny, your Faja is here. Better, closer, warmer. Goes 794 to the 8th at 84 miles an hour. Rolling out the back door, 1389 at 69 miles an hour. And he's got him about 20, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to get her back around and get her put back in the lanes. And again, Johnny, your Faja is here. It's been an absolute amazing day of racing. Very small amount of carnage. Thank goodness. Yep. Always love to see everybody leaving in the hot rod they showed up in. And uh, it was a struggle to find the first broke. That's always good. And I think every racer in need so far has been uh, accommodated with the parts that they need. So if you've helped with the racer need, thank you very much. Got us a decent little drive tonight. Nothing too bad. Like I said, some drag and drive events, uh, we've driven like 400 miles in one day. So to drive 100, 150 a, a day, not bad at all. And a great, great place to come get your feet wet and understand what drag and drive is all about. All of the guys here, they're, it's, a, it's a family for sure. Um, all these guys, like I said, every, every racer in need, I believe, has been accommodated today. The camaraderie, the, the parking lot hangs. I, I was one of the last ones inside last night, and I did not come equipped. I was in shorts and a T-shirt. I think it made it its way down to about 39 degrees last night. And uh, that was more one of the more dumb things I've done in my life. But, you know, you get caught up with some of your buddies that you haven't seen in a year or six months and get to talking and telling lies and telling stories. Oh, wow. A front engine dragster just rolled in. I can dig the flavor. Tate today you can stay all night if you have friends that want to come out i think it's ten dollars tonight is what i was seeing on the schedule um and you get to see a front engine drags or something you don't get to see all the time looks like the little 55 is coming back around from eric coon and the gentleman jim So we're winding down to about 15 minutes left, boys and girls. Eric Kuhn pulling around from Great Bend, Kansas, the 55 Chevy 210. The perfect mixture of fiberglass and steel and fun, good times. The drag wing perfectly molded onto the deck lid and quarter panels of that hot rod. Some of them don't look like they belong. That one looks like uh, it might have come from the factory just like that. You know what I'm saying?
puts it on the chip, lets it rip. Oh yeah, we're we are definitely better, closer, warmer. Moving around a little bit, goes five seventeen to the eighth at one hundred and thirty nine, and stops the clocks eight seventy five at one hundred and five. So obviously off the loud pedal. And here's gentleman Jim. Yeah. Danny Odom from Tecumseh, Kansas. 2011 Dodge Charger, 6.4 liter of Hemi under the hood. Yes, it do have a Hemi. It, it be like that. That night. Uh, maybe he goes 1084 to 132. Zach Armstrong rolling out in the 78 Malibu. And the Cornhusker Cougar got the slicks mounted on top. I dig it like smacks. Meanwhile, the little Malibu stops the clock 1230 at 112 miles an hour. And the estate wagon is back. Got 10-minute call to the lanes, boys and girls. 10-minute call to the lanes. Rolls in, lights the top bulb. 
Made it to about the 330, almost the eighth last time. Let's see if we can get a little further this time. Yeah. Well, kind of a little soft. He goes 13.46. That's 78 miles an hour. Got seven minutes left, and C.J. Phillips coming back around the tower out of Lamont, Lamont, Missouri. And she's breaking up before the 3.30. And idols are out the back door. The Malibu back around again. Seven-minute call to the lanes. Six-minute call now. So if you would like to get a hit, you need to be moving with a purpose. Knees to chest, headed towards the starting line. So Zach Armstrong back again in the Malibu. Kind of drives it out of the groove towards the wall a little bit. Gathers it up. Stays in the gas. Goes 12.03 at 114 miles an hour. And again, I want to give a big shout out to Summit Racing Equipment and Molly Motorsports. Two of our big sponsors this weekend. He was definitely in contention last year, and I think something broke on the car. If I remember right, suspension or something weird. Maybe it was. You see much, so much of this stuff throughout the year and, and years, and everything just kind of blends together. And when you don't have much of a short-term memory, like myself, uh, yeah.
So we're winding down. Got about five minutes. Let's let's get the official look. Four minutes.
think her phone just died. Can we? We may be able to. Oh, there we go, dude! What a crazy day! What a crazy day! Look how look how sunburnt my forehead is. <laughs> it's been wild today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much to our sponsors for making this happen. Thank you for Cliff for talking for six straight hours on the live stream. We're working on a secondary microphone so we can get some car racing stuff. But guys, this is the first time we've done this outside our podcast. So uh, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being there. We're going to be live at 11 a.m. Central tomorrow morning at Ozark Raceway Park. We're actually headed there right now to uh, set up all the live stream stuff. So, all right, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. See you.